live in West Palm Beach, Florida. And we are live. Hey, hey, hey. At the Palm Beach Kennel Club. I'm Terry. Steffi Mo here. And we are here playing a little pot limit Omaha. We got a $100 buy in for a 2K guarantee, but per usual, we have crushed the 2K guaranteed. We have uh, 2600 in the prize pool. We're playing for $1,200 up top. And um, we are going to jump right into the action. We have 18 play. We have, I'm sorry, we have 16 players remaining. This is our feature table. We will play down to nine players at a final table, and then we're going to play down to a winner. Feature to final, and this is our first hand. You guys aren't missing a thing. We've already got it all in here. Looks like Jose's got himself a couple of aces. Looks good pre-flop, but uh, usually by the end of the hand, aces in Portland or Omaha or just another hand. It's all right. It's all right. And he's got no flush draws available too, so that's a that's a padoogie. We call a we call a hand padoogie when it's all different suits. Jalapeno Jose. Aces and sevens might hold up though. Wow. Kings and sevens, aces and sevens. Wow, it looks like aces are going to hold up. Just as we say, by the end, you don't really like them so much. They just happen to hold up. Well, it's a strong hand. I mean, especially on a board like this, I mean, the only thing that's really going to connect is another seven or a possible straight because there's no flushes out there. And, you know, there's already two sevens out there. So the chances of someone else having another seven are not that great. But still, I find when I usually play PLO, they usually have it somehow. You it's know? mid. So... But Jose is going to go ahead and triple up there, I think. Triple up, dog. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah, see, we're just saying that, Patty. I mean, I mean it's like <laughs> she knew. Wow. Sick. So Dave went ahead and flopped himself a pair of aces and a gutter ball here. Benny's got a, an unknown hand. Patty's got blockers to the nuts, but it's still yeah. just a pair of kings. Not a bad hand. They got to be playing a little deeper if Patty wanted to represent a straight there because, I mean, she does have pocket kings, which means she has removal to two outs to the nuts, um, which means if she had raised there, the chances of somebody else having uh, a straight are pretty low because she already has two kings. So... She could have popped in a raise there and possibly gotten Dave to fold, but it's all right. It's it's a it's a tough spot, you know, at this point in the tournament because the the blinds just aren't really deep enough. I think they're the blinds are it looks like a five hundred one thousand. Yeah. Yeah, I believe you're correct. Ooh, Silver Fox with like my favorite hand in PLO. He's double suited, ace king queen jack. I'm, it is a nice hand. Oh, I love it. I'm I'm potting that all day. What what was that famous word? So, <laughs> <laughs> quick story. I was down south playing PLO, and my phrase when I when I pot it in in PLO is pot that bitch. And I just happened to have a, a female dealer who thought I was in fact calling her a bitch when I would never do that. And she said, "What?" <laughs> and I said, "Ma'am, ma'am, no, no, no." Pot, not you. Pot that bitch. Yeah, not you. A little board. surprised the Silver Fox didn't raise here, but, uh, you know, okay flop for him. He flops a, a gutter ball and a second nut flush draw. I was like, what's he mad about? Uh, we don't know what Brett has. We're going to have to go back there and help these guys out. Lay down the, the law. Everyone else, though, their cards were showing, though. Well, Benny's didn't at first, and, I mean, I, I, I gave him a little demonstration before we started feature tables. So, As always. But I, apparently some people were a little... <laughs> 
Terry does a hell of a job. I try, I try my he best. Really, I did my best. I do what I can. <laughs> and see, this is one of those situations where, you know, Silver Fox really needed to, to raise preflop because it's such a strong hand. You're going to like so many flops. He would have won a much bigger pot than what he did. but. And you don't see a great flop like that for him, you know? I mean, you know, I mean, it's easy to fold, too, if it just comes out like four, five, six, and you don't have anything. But, I mean, half half the flops you're going to see, you're going to love with that kind of hand. So you really want to kind of get max value out of a hand like that by, by potting at preflop. But Jeff's a, Jeff's a really good tournament player, and I would, I would never uh, assume to tell him how to play. Or <laughs> I almost feel like he's here almost – Every PLO tournament we have. He's he's definitely here as often as he can. And, um, I mean, he finds himself running deep into tournaments more often than not. So definitely not telling him how to play. Just maybe telling him a different way to play. Thank you. <laughs> Smack dab. There's our girl Nancy, the one and only OG. What's the up, legend Nancy? herself. How are you, darling? Welcome in, chat. We're starting to uh, have everybody kind of filter in here. We're down to 16 players in our 2K guarantee $100 buy-in pot limit Omaha tournament. And it looks like Joaquim has flopped the world. Joaquim has three kings with an ace kicker. Silver flop. Silver Fox is drawing. Silver Flox. Silver Fox. <laughs> Silver Fox is drawing to a straight, but even he knows that that's not really too good on a paired board with a possible flush draw, so... And then Joaquim shows him the pocket aces. Doesn't show him the king. Shows him the pocket aces, and Jeff already knows that on the off chance he hits an ace, it's it's going to be a full house. So Also another regular here, Joaquim is a hell of a player. We always yep. see him at final tables all the time, just like Jeff. Oh, look at Patty with the lollipops and the candies. She's trying to put her, her opponents into a, a sugar coma. That's Patty's strategy. You know, it's really smart. <laughs> we see what you're doing, girl. I wonder what the THC content in those lollipops are. Oh, well, they're not your special lollipops. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my boy Brett? Brett? Is that Brett right there? He that seems is to Brett, like yep. It. He seems to like it. Oh, look at the way these guys are putting their cards in the box. I look love it. Look at it. it. You I them love so it. Well. Let's go. <laughs> Aww. Shout out to our production team, Rob, Geo, and Barlington holding it down. Hmm. I Let's see, to. can't really see what Benny has, but Silver Fox has a pair, flush draw, and a straight draw. And he goes ahead and binks the nuts on the turn, as the Silver Fox so often does. Bink! And just very casually throws in a 5K chip. Let's see. Benny! B -b -b Benny in the Jets. Benny, Benny! Benny, Benny, Benny and the Jets. Thanks, Nancy. Yeah, that's a good story. Yeah, that's why I always make you tell it every time yeah. I'm on the mic. <laughs> Just in case, you know, people I, will miss it. I wish I wish you had seen that dealer's face, though. She, I wish I was there. I swear to you, she was halfway so to calling offended. the floor or I slapping like me in the face. Both. Like, either or would have been, you know, appropriate had I and said Terry what she thought like, I said. And Terry been like, listen, I'll take both. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always enjoy talking to the manager, B. As long as you win the pot, like, let's be real. Right. You, you don't mind. And usually if I say pot that bitch, I usually am going to win that. Yeah, that's that's usually my get out of the way. Oh, that's what we have to do? All right. I'm going to do tell. that next time it's I win It's a tell. I t I'm telling you, it's it's one of my tells, and I, I never say it when I when I bluff. So. Be like, this is for Terry. Pot that bitch. Pot that bitch. Uh, no, ma'am, not you. <laughs> Just the pot. I'd be like, if the shoe fits. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, in these uh, smaller PLO tournaments, you're going to see a lot of uh, limping. And again, calling. Uh, yeah. right, limping calling. Um, and granted, you know, they're not playing very deep. If they were playing a little deeper, I, I would assume that there would be a little more uh, pre flop aggression. But yeah. in these situations, they just kind of want to see some flops and, and, you know, see how they progress. But, um, well, that's a pretty good flop for, for the Silver Fox. <laughs> Yeah, not bad just, at all. Just go ahead and flop in the nuts. No big deal. Red's still with a mystery hand here. Thank you. Jeff with a really good check on the turn. Sure is. Okay. 
We'll be home okay. for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of wings you get? I got mild. Could, They're actually like really good. Paint. There's nothing wrong with that. Listen, the mild, yeah, the way really good. the way the sauce coats the wings too, it's like perfect. Like the mm -hmm. like the crispiness of the wings just soaks in the sauce, and it's still crispy enough. And it smells spicy. It's so good. I know. Such good food here. So Jeff, um, uh, check the nuts on the flop and bet on the turn, and then Benny um, called with a kings and tens, thinking that it might be good, but uh, yeah. there's. Jeff's showing it. He'd be there's, like, yeah, I flopped it. If, if Jeff's betting on a turn with a double-paired board, there's no way he does not have it. There's it, just no way. He's not going to set himself up for for five people in the hand to possibly have a better hand than him. So he, I feel like more than half the time, Jeff always has it. Well, that's why he's a good player. That's why yeah. you know, I don't know if he considers himself a pro, but he's definitely um, – I would say so. At least a local pro, that's for sure. Yeah. No, he's – if you see Jeff at the table, watch out. The Silver Fox. Brian, you, you here in the long haul? I'll put in a good word for you. You'll do much better up here than downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I heard. Like dead. What's that? I heard it's dead down there. Oh, is it? Don't worry, Nancy. I got some food for you, Queen. Nancy, uh -oh. Steph orders wings, and then she just let it, lets him sit here and, like, permeate the room. So, like, I'm, like, sniffing all this delicious buffaloness. And I'm not even hungry, but I'm I'm starting to be. I told you. Like I said, chat, we're playing for $1,200 up top, $800 for second, $400 for third, and $266 for fourth place. Oh, all right. We got a floor call here. All right. Guys, let us know um, if all the audio sounds okay. Uh, sometimes the table volume is a little low. Sometimes our levels are a little off. So if you hear something we don't hear, let us know. So when she types the payouts, does that come up? If, if she so. Oh, okay. That's dope. I'm so old. <laughs> I'm all, I know all about exposing. Thanks, Nance. When we all know what you have. Okay. And you didn't yeah. do it. I'm like, I hey. only put the 1K in there. That's gangster to do that. Sure. Well, catching them all. Okay. All right. So we got a bunch of players uh, seeing a flop here. It looks like Silver Fox has – Silver Fox. I'm going to I'm gonna say that all day apparently. Silver Fox has top two. Jose Jalapeno has bottom two, but he also has a flush draw to go along with it. Um, neither of those players are going anywhere, I promise. Uh, looks like – Jose is going to put in the uh, the bet here. He's going to need a flush or a five. And, of course, Jeff hits the full house, uh, the nuts on the river. No big deal. Bas basically just chalk for Jeff. I have a and Jose Jalapeno is going to go down in 15th place. Yeah, GG's, Jose. Congratulations. Constellation Prize, I guess. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Yep. <laughs> go downstairs, take a break. I was just going to say, your Constellation Prize. God, oh man. I can't. It's okay. You're full of time. What is today, happening? Terry. Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, my goodness. He's just waking up, y'all. It's okay. I'm flummoxed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to spit that out. <laughs> I'm bamboozling myself bamboozle bamboozled bamboozled you said that right that's all right <laughs> i won't be the only typo yes Ooh, brett's got a monster here he's got kings double suited yeah you like the flummox nancy she's great nancy, nancy likes my vocab words Brett's going to put in the pot-sized raise here. 
Jeff's going to come along with a pair of sevens Just suited A's. Oh. Like we said, a lot of flatting here. Well, I mean, Brett did put in the pot size, but yeah. uh, the, the pot pre He's just going to so see a flop. Heads up. Does he hit it? Wow. Oh, my gosh. Dude, this guy runs Ooh, so runs good. better than you, Jeff. Dude, he he, he just runs so <laughs> oh good. Oh, my God. He pots it. He yeah. loves that. And Jeff, Jeff's got to know that if Brett's – Potting pre-flop, he probably doesn't have a hand that contains 9-10. Probably doesn't have pocket jacks. He's probably got aces, kings, maybe an ace high flush draw. My name Jeff. Great, great pot, Jeff. Great. Je Jeff's not just going to ever smooth call on that flop. If he's got a set of jacks, he's got it. But Jeff's never just going to smooth call there. Terry the man with the freshest socks. I, I do, don't I? I always love them. I know. Look at it. It looks like you're ready for golf. I'm, these are uh, multi, multi. So I can do anything. This is golf. This is poker. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, for sure. I can sleep in these. I mean, these are very, thanks. very. I'm glad yeah. you noticed. Always. I'm very love fancy. the sock. Very fancy. Thank you. <laughs> Chump change. Okay. Who are they talking about? I guess. Oh, about sugar. Maybe Bennett. We're uh, inducing your heart rate. Yeah, but they're talking about a certain player, though. I think. I could be wrong. Thanks, Jeff. Jeff with another playable hand, seven, eight, nine, Jack. I love hands like that. Easy to fold, easy to smash. Uh, not necessarily on that flop, although he does have two pair, but it's bottom two. But it's not bad, though. And with everybody checking through, I'm definitely going to put in a bet here if I'm Jeff. If everyone checks should, through twice. But yeah. There we go. Look at him on a roll. He came into this kind of short stack here. And now he's stacking Ooh, was that, like, up. Four hands in a row. Yeah. Who's better than you? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. Yes, you did. Look at that. He doesn't Agreed. even lie. What a guy. Agreed. Yes. It's tough to lie in Omaha, to be honest with <laughs> it's you. It's tough to lie. I mean, a lot of combinations. All right. Tim's going to have a pretty playable hand here. Ace, king, jack, three, double suited. I like hands like that. He's got straights on the bottom and the top end. Straight possibilities, I should say. Sure as eight. I hear Betty in the background. That is true. That's Ever true. since you gave him that the the semi tutorial, the tutorial, nickname. yeah, silver oh, oh. flocks. He's been on a hot streak, yo. <laughs> Can you give me a typo? I want to run hot. Yo, what's up, crazy boy? Hey, crazy, how you doing? Welcome to the chat. What's up? What's up? Ooh, Brett's got kings again. One time for Uncle Benny. Brett's Three? got. <laughs> Brett's asking what the pot size is here. Tim's definitely going to call with that hand, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Joaquin come along, too. This shit's the best. Patty's got a pretty mediocre hand, but she's pretty close to uh, being being pot committed here to make a call. Yeah, I agree. It's close. Wow. Looks like everyone got a piece of that, but look at that flop for Tim. Yeah, Tim's got aces up. Patty's got a flush draw. It's not the nut flush draw. Brett's got aces with the king kicker. This could be a really that's good it. hand. Brett's, Brett's in some real trouble here. But oh. he, he doesn't really have a choice, though. Hell yeah, crazy. Let's go. Get that cash money. There you go. Patty just calling that. Yeah, she's got a pair and a flush draw. I, I think it's a pretty good call on her part. If you're gonna see a flop, if you're gonna call it raise pre-flop and you, you flop that kind of hand, I mean, you're you're pretty much just you have yeah. to you have to ride with it. Wow, wow what a bink! Oh my god! What a bink! Dude. Patty's hoping she's not running up against aces or jacks here. Brett's not liking that. No, Brett knows he's in a lot of trouble here. Let's see if Tim can. Uh, can see what what Patty's doing here because I don't think Patty's ever yeah 
What a Tim's great, like what a great fold on, it is on, a good Tim, fold. on Tim's yeah. part. That's a really That's why good Tim's fold. Tim's such a good player as well, you know? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, my God. Uh, great, great fold, Tim. Oh, well, not anymore. It's not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, Tim's but still, like, Tim, 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 listen, Tim bet when he had the best hand. He folded when he had the worst hand, and he just happened to hit a four-outer. Good job, you know? Patty. Brett's going to be eliminated here. Wow, that's not even a four-outer. That's like a three-outer because yeah. uh, Brett had an ace, too. So, Wow, great great bet on Patty's part, and, you know, what are you going to do? I'm going to get Gio in here real quick. Who? And our boy Gio. <laughs> Take a little break and enjoy these wings, fam. Come on down. What's up, G? What up, Terry? Six handed looks like cool. It's not. Oh, I thought it was yours. No, I think it was from yesterday. Oh, that's that's even more gross. Patty winning that pot got her in the lead now. Nice. Yeah, that was huge. What a what a seven on the turn because I mean if she just oh. checks it for some reason hoping to catch a flush then obviously Tim hits the boat on the river and he's never oh, going man. anywhere. So good fold. I mean. Good bet on Patty's part. <laughs> Joaquin. What up, chat? How we doing today? See Nancy in there. Is Nancy, hello. Good. Nancy's our biggest cheerleader. <laughs> Guys, we're paying out our top four spots today. First place is going to get 1,200. Second place is getting 800. Third place is getting 400. And fourth place is getting $266. Anyone holding spades? Uh, not that we see. No, Benny, Benny needs to do a better job of putting his cards on the box. About half the time that they have not been registering. Looks like a seven of club on the turn. <coughs> Tim has two pair now, eights and sevens. Yeah, that's a seven and an eight. This is Benny right here, right? Yeah, Benny in the one seat. Yep. Guys, we're down to. 11 players now. So, no, I'm sorry, 12 players. We're down to 12, and when we reach 9 players, we'll be hitting final table, and we are going to play down to a winner. Who are you looking for? We got 38 players total in the tournament today with a total prize pool of $2,660. Not me. Buying was 100 today, right? It was. Yeah, that's what's nice about this uh, PLO tournament, too. It's it's only a $100 buy-in, and um, for those that are not really uh, – they haven't played a lot of Omaha, it's much better than playing cash because you can only lose $100 at a time as opposed to if you're playing cash game PLO. I mean, you know how, you know how the swings go in that. I mean, you can you can lose a lot of money Gosh. in a PLO cash game. So this is nice for our um, beginner to intermediate players to really kind of get to know the game and, you know, how the bet sizes go and how to play. Three jacks is not a good hand. For those of you watching that aren't really sure how to play Omaha, you must play two. You cannot play one. You cannot play three. You have to play two cards in your hand. So when you get three of a kind, you don't have three of a kind. You only have two jacks. So the chances of you hitting a set are even worse than they were before. There's only one jack left in the deck. And chance of you hitting it, not that good. Not that good. Ace, 10, 3. So. Clearbox with a straight draw. That's, a, that's, that's really about it. it. Yeah. <laughs> that's ben, really it. Benny's got a pair of aces. He should probably bet this. 
I mean, seeing as how they're just heads up, and if Jeff's checking, I mean, chances are he does not have a pair, two pair, or any other kind of draw. So if I were Benny, I would have just, I would just bet that. King of Diamonds on the turn not going to change really much. Uh, Jeff's going to take advantage of this, uh, of Benny checking back on the flop. I wonder if Benny just jams. No, he's just going to fly. Benny's just so low, it's tough for him to fold in this spot. But I know, but flatting there is just leaving him in a, like in a bad position too, you know? Yeah, you no, know, you're absolutely right. And then him just checking back too? Oh. I guess a diamond's got there, right? Like, I don't know. I mean, everything got there. A, a, a worse two still, pair, diamonds, I mean. How much did he have behind? Like 4,000, right? Who, Benny? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Benny's never folding, I don't think. Even even with such a bad hand, and aces with an eight kicker in Omaha is a terrible hand. But he's supposed to just jam on the turn, basically, though, right? Who Benny or yeah, um, I or mean, a flop is better probably to do it on with his ace. I with with just the small blind versus the big blind, I absolutely would have bet if I were Benny there. Um, yeah. And then Silver Fox would have folded, and then Benny would have made less money. So at least he induced a little bit of action. But I, I guarantee you, Benny hated that turn. King of Diamonds brought in yeah. a better two pair, a straight, and a flush draw. So I, I guarantee you, he hated that hand. And the flush getting in on the river. That's I can understand the check back on the river since the flush did get in. But and had had Jeff bet that river, I mean. It, it would have been a tough spot for Benny, even only having 4K behind, because a pair of aces with an 8 kicker with all of that on board is is, is a tough call regardless. So, But, you know. Patty with a Say bunch of diamonds. <laughs> Ooh, Silver Fox with a pretty good hand. Yeah, bunch kings. of straight draws. He's going to go ahead and pot that bitch. Suda King as well, not bad. <clears throat> Joaquin with a mystery hand. Going to get in there as well. And Patty also going to get in there. Yeah, it's it's an interesting call on Patty's part. She has a lot of chips, so she can see a lot of flops. But when you have four diamonds in your hand, yeah. that's <laughs> you know, it's not not really the best situation. You know that you have you know basically a Ten. third of the diamonds in play. Mm -hmm. So four. So Patty's is going to get a pair of fours here. Silver so Fox still in the lead with his pair of kings. And I guess <clears throat> from what we see, he's still ahead with his pair of kings. Yeah, he's going to get this one through. I like the pre-flop progression. I like the continuation on the flop. No flush draws on the flop, so I like it. And the fox wins another one. What does the fox say? <laughs> yeah, Patty's just saying what we were saying. She's, she's she's kind of questioning why she called there, but I mean to close out the action, see a flop, you know, nothing wrong with that. Ready. So Fox, pretty decent hand here. Pair of aces with I mean, he is ace. he's getting hit in the face with the deck right now. Before before you got here, he had won like four hands in a row. Yeah. <coughs> Just gonna pot it up to here to 5,500. See if anyone can call mm, him. Dave's got a playable hand. He's got a suited ace with a bunch of straight draws in there. He's only he only has 21k, so he's put he would be putting in 25% of his stack he to call, call, which he does. So yeah, 25% of his stack to see a flop. I don't blame him. You got to pick a spot sooner or later. He's hoping for diamonds. Yeah. And the diamonds and do not come, but he gets a straight it. draw. But yeah, he, I don't think he could really. He also has a straight. The Silver Fox also has a straight draw. Nah, yeah, Silver Fox hasn't dominated here. Oh yeah. How no fast this folded existence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the fox wins another one. <laughs> yeah, Fox had him dominated. Wow. Overpair with the straight draw as well. Mm-hmm. Him with some queens. Probably gonna fly right. Yeah. Tim just calling an early position here with queens. Uh, yeah, I don't mind that too much. Um, again, I 
I always think aggression is the better part of Valor as far as poker goes, but um, they're not. They're just not playing deep enough right now to really make it matter. Everyone has a pair, basically, this hand. Patty's picking up a monster here. I wouldn't be surprised. Wow, she checks it, too. Okay. See an ace on that flop. Ace, jack, seven. So Dave picks up two pairs. Jack's and sevens here. Benny's got a mystery hand. Patty's got a uh, straight draw. Eight on the turn. Nobody picks up the straight. Joaquin, has, Joaquin has blockers to the nuts. He has two tens, so. Yeah. Dave's going to take his shot here. He also has a flush draw with his two pair. He has a flush draw and a gutter, actually. Four, five. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah six would give it to him. Benny's got a mystery hand. He's got a good equity here, actually. Uh, uh, I don't know what that last card is. Six on the river. Wait, that's, oh, that's, that's the straight. That's the straight. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, wait, that six means something. Yeah. Yeah. Dave picked up the third nuts here, and let's see if Benny picked up any kind of straight. Oh, Benny, that's, uh, that's a lot of chips, buddy. How do you – what did Benny just leave himself behind with? Uh, how, how do you just call there? He has a straight, too, I think. He just calls because he I doesn't. He doesn't have the nuts. Oh yeah, he has four five. I see it. Yeah, yeah. But like, is leaving yourself one point five thousand? Oh no, he didn't. He he doesn't have a straight. It yeah, like one point five k. Is that like? <laughs> I mean, it's just the blinds are just getting so high. I di I didn't see exactly what he had. He probably had it two It looked pair, like he I'm had 4-5, though, in his hand. I saw the 6. I didn't see I did see the, the 6. I saw the 4th card saw was blocked, four. but... But you know the old adage, a chip in a chair, you know? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. I mean, all I'm saying is that, I don't know, I just... If, you're, if your hand's good enough to call there, your hand's definitely good enough to just put the rest in, right? Well, that's just that. I don't think his hand was good enough to call, but he made the call anyway. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't even know what he called with. Right. I, th I think it, it really did just pair with pair I think of sixes. Had, I think he had aces up. I think he had aces and sixes. Oh, two pair. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Hands moving quick, this hand. <laughs> Silver Fox with the best of it right now. And wow, Patty flops the nuts. Yeah, oh, jeez, Patty. Tim flopped a pretty good hand, too. He's got a straight draw and a flush draw and a pair. Um, see, Tim's got 40K in front of him. Yeah, it's a tough call. You don't even know if your flush draw is any good. He's just going to get rid of it now. And he knows if Patty's betting, she's got a monster. If she's betting in first position, he knows she's got a monster. Silver Fox has a pair and a gutter ball. He also has a blocker to the nuts with the ace of hearts. So he's yeah, he was thinking about it, but Joaquin yeah, doesn't have much either. No, nah, just like top pair, top kicker, which is not that good in Omaha. Patty's Patty, going to go ahead and show the nuts. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think she needs to. I think they had a pretty good idea where she was at, but just to leave no doubt. Looks like we're down to 11 players now, and like I said, we'll be going down to final table once we hit nine-handed. Just to remind everybody, we're going to have our Moneymaker tournament coming up in the first couple of weeks of May. Uh, Chris Moneymaker and company will be returning for, I believe, the fourth iteration of the Moneymaker Tour here at the Palm Beach Channel Club. And uh, we will actually be having a, a specialized charity Mincy event. And for those of you who remember, <laughs> we had the Ben Mincy, who's part of the Barstool Sports uh, Make Final Table for one of the uh, one of the big events for, for the Moneymaker Tour. And we had a, we had a record amount of um, members in the chat and we had a lot of buzz surrounding it and a little bit of national coverage when he made final table and uh, it was a lot of fun we had a good time and um, so he's going to have his own uh, specialized charity event and and yeah they will be returning for another go around and they'll also be back in November I believe same with a gutter oh Silver Fox was set set arena bambino 
It's a pretty good hand considering there's no uh, flush draws on board either. Right, Looks like got Tim's got a bit of a wrap here. Well, not necessarily a wrap, but he does have top pair with a bunch of straight draws and backdoor flush draws. Well, Tim oh, folds, though. Okay, just kidding. Uh, looks like Joaquin calls with a mystery hand. Benny's all in with one point. What does Patty have right now? Just a pair of nines, right? I don't know, but if uh, if Tim would have stuck around, he would have hit the nuts on the turn, as you can see on his face. <laughs> uh, Silver Fox still with the nuts. What is, Patty, oh, that's a side Patty just had top pair. She, you know, she had a lot of chips. Probably the only reason she called. Oh, I think he got called here. Wait, is that another all in? I think his set's good here. It's good right now, but I guarantee you. Joaquin's got some outs. Let's see. Let's see. I can't see the other ones. It's a no, flush. I heard a flush. Yeah. <laughs> back hit. He, he had the back door flush draw and he hit it. Wow. Is that a is that a jack? Jack ten of clubs or jack, jack ten of diamonds or something like that? Yeah, that looks that like is? it. Looks like it. Something close to that. Or jack nine. Jack eight. Oh no, it can't be jack eight of diamonds. There's eight of diamonds already. I'm assuming that's a ten. So I think Terry was right. I believe Silver Fox's set was good there and <laughs> until that river. That's unfortunate. Just pink the luster. What? I'm pretty sure he had Jack Ten. No, but I mean, I guess there were straight draws out there too, though. So his set was kind of vulnerable, though. Honestly, he was trying to play it aggressive to try to get people off the hand, but it just didn't work out. I guess. Set of Reno. Yeah, see, I'm betting so that you don't want to continue, and you were you were bothered the fact that I was well, betting you start yourself. Your draw cheap. That's the look you were giving me, and then you still called. I would check it. Anyway. I would check but it. I know, but that's what I'm saying. We're not on a money bubble. We're trying to get chips. We're trying to get. Dave's gonna raise it up here to four thousand. I'm protecting my hand. I don't give a damn about Am I? You know, I mean that's. That's what we're doing. If we're money bubble, I think we're a little. Yeah, did I have, did I have, did I flop the yeah. best hand and had it? Yeah. Well, you, you should. It doesn't matter if it's a dry pot. You should always bet your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to protect it. Yeah. I mean, so that's why I was so gonna call here. I've had people say, "Oh, you're supposed Not to shut it down." <laughs> no, I'm supposed to shut it down. No, no, no. You got something better than one protection. No, I agree. All right, looks like we're going heads up here between Silver Fox and Dave. Ooh, Dave picking up the nut flush draw here. Uh, looks like also with a straight draw, an eight. All right, so it looks like Dave, I believe, bet there. Yeah. Go check bet fold. Yeah. yeah, that all happened pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Dave's going to start us off here. Some queens under the gun. Going to flat. Over to Patty. She knows going to flat. Ooh, and Silver Fox with some kings. Seven, nine, ten. So we see two pair here for Joaquin. Joaquin's got two pair and an open ender. Dave's just got the over pair. Oh, yeah, with the ten, right? Patty just with an over pair and a back door. Silver also with an over pair. <laughs> yeah, Joaquin's got to love his hand here, especially on the short stack. This actually is pretty sick, actually. He's the one with the two pair. Everyone else got over pairs, but they don't know not to. Yeah, they know that if he's short stack, putting in half yeah. the stack, he's not going anywhere. Oh, 
Looks like we're doing three ways here. So looks like Silver Fox's flop bottom and top pair. Dave's got a mystery hand. Joaquin's got a couple of backdoor flush draws and a pair of threes. Looks like they didn't really like it, those. Starting us off here, as some kings and flat. Exactly Looks was. like the blind did 2,000 now from 15. 1,000, 2,000. Yeah. Hmm. I wasn't going to say anything, and then, and then that just yeah, but it, killed me. It just came out. So you said <laughs> Terry, are double pocket pairs, yeah, like... I, I so that's a good question. Um, it's better if, obviously, if you're double suited, but I mean, especially if they're just mid pocket pairs, you're still basically just set mining. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not – if you have aces and kings double suited, yeah, they're good. But if you have jacks and sevens, I mean, like even in a situation like this, yeah. Set a seven, but someone can flop a straight easily. You have a situation. set, but there's – you know, you Flushes got flush well. draws, straight draws. So, I mean – But, I mean, he has, like, he has 2,500 behind as well. So, let's put it this way. I mean, he just put in half his stack. So, like you were saying before, if you're going to put in half your stack on a call, why not yeah. just put it all in, get but max value preflop, hope everybody calls you, and then you, hit, you need to see five cards to hit a set, you know, so – He's most likely ahead here, honestly. You know, he is definitely ahead right now. Um, oh, wait, wait, that's the... Oh, yeah, that's what King's saying. We can't see what Dave has. Obviously, Dave can have eight. straight, but... Yeah, God, he just Joaquin has two block... Or he's got three blockers for the straight. He's got a five and two tens, so... Benny just bowed it up. The queen on the river not going to change anything. Uh, Benny's going to... Oh, yeah, four, yeah, Benny's going to quadruple up here. And this is where we were saying earlier, chip in a chair, right? Yep. <laughs> But here's the thing, too. Had he put all of his money in preflop, he would have gotten would've paid not, more? Not no. too much more, but a couple thousand more. You know. yeah. It would have been like 3,000 more because it was like 1,500 head behind. So Nothing really too significant. Sevens. Silver Fox is going to start us off. Yeah, it's a mediocre hand considering the ace and king aren't suited, but yeah. still playable with his chip stack. Three tens. 25 to 1. Oh, <coughs> no bueno. Chuck that sheet. Do it to the garbage. And over to Patty, gonna call for a thousand more in the small. Six, seven, nine. Yeah, Silver Fox flops top two. Benny with an unknown. Tim's got a pair and an open ender. Yeah. Patty with top pair and a gutter ball. Seems like everyone got a small piece of this board, especially Silver Fox with a two pair. 
Yeah, Tim's opening it with a backdoor nut flush draw too, so he doesn't strike me as the kind of player that's going to come along and see that though. Could be wrong. I am wrong. <laughs> Eight on the turn. And it's not the not the card Tim wanted to see or Silver Fox. So the first person to bet this is probably going to take it down. Wow, and another eight. Wow, what a runner runner. That's actually road. brutal. <laughs> that's pretty brutal. <laughs> but then again, that's easy for a silver oh, box yeah. to get away from because he only has nines, nines and eights. Now. Yeah, he's got nines and eights with an ace, so. Yeah. He knows as soon as Tim bets here, Tim's got it. Yeah, yeah. Board's too threatening, connected, paired. It's too much stuff at that point. Yep. I think there was a flush out there too, right? I think that Spades got there as well. I mean, even, in, even at that point, I think he knows that Tim's not even going to bet with a flush at that point. Cause no, yeah, yeah. So he just knows that, I mean, he can't even bluff at that. <laughs> you know, that's just, just a... Runner, runner's boat. Yeah. That's actually sick because, oh, six. So four outs for that? Well, he was open-ended too. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did have the straight draw. Benny? Under the gun, some queens. Nothing suited though. Looks like Benny is gonna get in there. It folds all the way to Patty. And it looks like it's gonna be four ways. Some clubs. Patty picking up a flush draw. Benny as well. Yeah, Benny's got a flush draw and a pair of aces. Like his chips are going in there. He's he's got to build his stack back up. Tim's got a a gutter ball. Patty's got a lesser flush draw. Patty's staying in there. She does not want to see a club. She has a straight draw now though. Yeah, she's got a gutter ball, pair. No, Nine's not, not going to help. Not going to change anything. Benny's going to take this one down unless Patty tries to make a bluff at it, right? She does have the stack. Yeah, she's not going to uh -oh. do it. I think she's looking at Benny's stack, and Benny's only got 10K behind, and I, she probably thinks that there's not too Enough many merit hands. to f the bluff, right? Yeah. Yeah, just there's not too many hands. Benny's going to fold there if he does have a pair, two pairs, some kind of hand like that. Even with the flush on board, he's probably not folding. He might though. I mean, listen, Pat, Patty has an image at the table that when she bets, she has it. So, Benny chipping up here now, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah. He's got like a like an okay like. Yeah, he was down to four thousand a couple minutes ago. So. Was that like twenty thousand now? A little more. Yeah, more than that. Yeah. There you go, Benny. Going into hand number 25 here. <laughs> Got some folds nice. around here. Well, it looks like Silver Fox just flopped the nuts. <laughs> He's pretty good at that, actually. Yeah, like, just flops Patty Broadway. Does, Patty does have a pair, gutter ball, and a nut flush draw, so she's not going anywhere. Patty has? Yeah. She does, and she just hit the bottom end of the straight. Jeez. Benny's got, Benny still has aces up. So Benny's got top two, Silver Fox still has the nuts. So let's see how Silver Fox decides to he's play just, it. He's just got to pop 18. this because he, he knows that someone's on a flush draw and he's going to make him pay for saying? it. He's got to make him pay for it. Looks like he's doing it full, full pot. pot. Yep. Yep, that's the right bet. And Patty's going to know where he's at, and I wonder if she's going <laughs> to put it in for the draw here. She did hit the bottom end of the straight, but she's got to know that's no good if, if Silver Fox is coming out betting strong here. I think she knows that Jeff's never betting without the nuts here, especially in the two players who are you know, oh, man. Benny short stack. Benny knows where he's at, too. He knows he's only got four outs. Four outs. <coughs> 
four outs to what? To a chop, right? <laughs> no, he's got four outs to the nuts. Um, if Benny? he's an ace or a jack, yeah. Benny's got top two. Plus oh, I see, I see. I didn't even notice he had two pair. Right, plus he has the the two outs to correct. If he, if a king were to come out, he would yes. also chop for the nuts. But he. Uh, That's what I was paying attention to, correct. like him chopping. Right. I think I think Jeff's a little out of line here, uh, especially with another oh, player sure. in the hand. You know, trying to tell this guy to to hurry up. I mean, I think if someone were to tell Jeff to hurry up, I think he'd have something to tell him. <laughs> so, you know, give him a chance. Uh, eight on the river. Eight, and that's not going to bring that's not going to bring in any anything. So Patty still has a flood or has a bottom end of the straight. Jeff still has the nuts. He's running pretty clean. She's got to know it's not good though, right? No, nah, she knows it's no bueno. Oh, she says, do I have the right straight? She's got to know it's no good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's going to fold this. She knows it's no good. Sucks that she put in almost half her stack to, yeah, I to know. see this. But Silver Fox is going to show it. Yeah. Jeff loves showing it when he has the nuts. He loves showing it. It's, ne it's, it's never the right move to show your hands, but in, in these situations, Jeff, Jeff just figures it's, it's just a, a small tournament. There's no reason. Benny wasn't calling there in any situation, right? No. he. I That's mean, what I was going to ask you. You think no. if Silver Fox didn't like, say anything, he would have called? I don't know if it made a difference or not. Um, I think Benny was honestly thinking about it because he did have chop outs yeah. with the straight, and he did have four outs with the nuts. So, I mean, you know, I think he was seriously thinking about it. I think Jeff may have cost himself some money. I don't know if Benny was going to call or not, but. Well, because he had the chips. Like, he, I don't know if you saw. He had the chips in yeah. his hand ready to put them out. Yeah. But then he was say, then he started talking no, to. He was definitely Silver thinking Fox. about it, for sure. But Crazy. I, I think he I think he just knows. He because, has to be because behind Patty's him, right? behind him. He yeah. doesn't have a flush. That's exactly what he said. Right. He did say that. He was like, I have one more player behind me. Yep. But let's not let's not kid ourselves. If someone were to tell Jeff to hurry up on a decision, I guarantee you he would have had something to say about it. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna take this minute to uh, let you guys know what we got on the schedule. We got a uh, Polly Shore coming through on April twentieth. Is that a coincidence? I think not. <laughs> Polly Shore is gonna be live at the paddock on April twentieth. Tickets are on sale. We got a uh, Tom Petty and Stevie Nicks iconic tribute band. That's gonna be April twenty sixth. We also have our um, our yearly Kentucky Derby Festival. That's going to take place on May 4th of this year. Um, we're going to have barbecue, trackside bar, mint juleps, live music. Um, if you guys have never been to a Palm Beach Kennel Club Kentucky Derby party oh and, my and gosh. you enjoy horse racing, <laughs> come on down because everybody shows up. Wow. Let's see what King here. Um, back to the action. We got Joaquin top flopping top set. Patty with nothing. So. Pair of kings, yeah. but... Eh, that's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Not when someone's betting pot. Oh, he just bet pot? Yeah. I didn't even notice. Jeez. Uh, we also have our Mother's Day buffet at the Paddock Restaurant, May 12th, which also happens to be my birthday. There you go. You know, every however many years, Mother's Day falls on my birthday. And uh, one year when I was, I think when I turned seven, I had my birthday party on Mother's Day. And oh, one, one person came. <laughs> one person came to Chuck E. Cheese. It was a, <laughs> the Chuck E. Cheese! It was a sad state of affairs, but, uh, you know. We still have fun. <laughs> but uh, Mother's Day Buffet at the Paddock Restaurant, that's May 12th. That's going to be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, you do need a reservation, so go ahead and call the Paddock, call the Palm Beach Kennel Club, and we will hook you up. Uh, later in the year, we do have uh, comedian Jimmy Faea, and um, that's going to be November 15th and 16th. And uh, we also have uh, an Elvis tribute band in December. Go ahead and check out our website, uh, pbk, pbkennelclub.com, and um, that'll go ahead and hook you up with all your ticket info, prices, dates, times, all that good stuff. And uh, hopefully we'll we'll see you down. Yeah, when I first started working here, I um, I ran into the derby and like it was crazy Bro, how busy it was. Unreal. Like I was actually surprised how crazy it was. And, and it's cool because like all the ladies come out and they all wear their fancy yeah. hats and you know it's, it's. Are we gonna have different shirts this year? Do you know? Almost definitely. I like the shirts we had last year. They were cute. Yeah. The the red shirts. They look nice too. For sure, we will have different shirts. 
It's a lot of fun, though. Even if you guys don't like horse racing, just if you got nothing else going on that weekend, come on down May 4th. Oh, yeah, it's uh, a fun thing to do, honestly. Yeah, we got a lot of good stuff going on. Back to the action, we got Dave flopping top pair with a flush draw and a gutter ball. Silver Fox with bottom pair and a gutter ball. Probably an easy fold from the Silver Fox. Yeah. Dave's a pretty good player. I've known Dave for a long time, actually. Um, about a decade ago, I used to deal uh, bar poker locally, and Dave was um, he was a new player back then. Mm -hmm. And um, he's grown into a pretty good tournament player. Dave's a good guy, too. He's, um, he's a special needs teacher, and um, that's... That is his daily profession, and uh, you know people like that that give their time to kids that really need it. They're they're just good people, good souls. Dave's one of those guys, so I always kind of root for him. Ooh, Silver Fox here. That's the kind of double pair you want. Yeah, I know. Suited <laughs> ace. Yeah, yeah. Suited aces, aces and eights. The dead man's hand. See what he's gonna do. I'm assuming he's gonna raise it here. Probably seven thousand. Uh, yeah. yeah. Seven. For sure. Wow. Oh. There you go. Oh. Some Ace Arena Bambinos for everyone. Oh. Benny's probably gonna be putting him in here with queens too. Would that be sick if Benny were to get it in now and just bank a set of queens? <laughs> Benny. Benny, what a good fold, man. Benny. Benny kind of knows where he's at. You know, he knows that if, if Silver Fox is going to be pot and preflop, at worst he's got kings, maybe ace, king, queen, jack, so maybe some of his outs are already gone. Yeah. So, wow, Joaquin just calling here. Interesting. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> bing, ding, 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 ding. He would have hit the set. That would have been so sick. Wow. Look at Benny. <laughs> <laughs> I think he would have had a flush draw, too. I think he had diamonds. He would have had the world. He said aces. Joaquin said, yeah, I do have aces. How'd you know? <laughs> uh, poor Benny. <laughs> good fold. I mean, yeah. I guess. In, in retrospect, right? I mean, it is a good fold, but until we see that flop. Listen, I, I don't put any stock in any hand in PLO pre-flop. There's just... You know, it doesn't matter if it's aces, ace, king, queen, jack, seven, eight, nine, ten. None of it matters till you see a flop. Yeah. In hold'em, it's a totally different ball game. You know, your two cards are so strong because you have to play those two. But yeah. anything can change on a dime in PLO. So, yeah, even if you know queens are no good pre-flop, a lot of a lot of different things can happen on the flop. But he also had low flush draws as well in his hand. His his flush draws weren't that big. And two pair draws too. I think he had a. I don't I don't even remember what it was the two cards. Thanks, Silver Fox, with all the hearts now, huh? See if he likes it enough to call. Okay. He's got the chips. I believe that's either a Badugi or a Badesi when you have all the suited uh, cards in your hand. I believe it's Badesi. Badugi, it's a ba Badugi's definitely when you have four different ones, right? Yeah. So then it's Badesi. How do you pronounce it? Badesi? Badesi. Eight, nine, ten. Tim picking up a pair here. Oh, wow. The Patty Flop is straight. Yes. Sure did. <laughs> Tim folds the top pair with an open ender. Silver Fox has just a pair of nines. Joaquin has a niente. He's got a bunch of backdoor draws and a gutter ball, but yeah, I don't think let it go. Yeah, he's not putting in a quarter of a stack. Second time Patty's flopped a straight this <laughs> this she table. She needed it. She needed it. She's getting short stacks. So. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> Joaquin's thinking, is it worth it to try to take out a player? Yeah, good fold, Joaquin. They're just not playing deep enough. I wonder how many chips they had in total today. Well, let's see. They started out with... I can do the math on this. Started out with 15,000 a person. And we had 38 players. So there's a total of 570,000 in play. So a little more than half a million. That's not right. All right, let's see. Let us see what the action is going to bring us next.
Benny starting stuff here. Like, I just don't know what hands Benny likes, it seems like. I mean, as a as an avid, avid Omaha player myself, I mean, I, I know I like lots of hands. The diamonds? I, I know Benny is, uh, Benny wow. likes them too. Benny's... Uh, Everyone has a flush draw here. <laughs> wow, that's sick. That is actually nuts. Everyone just binks the flush and then Tim wow, with the Tim nut flush. The nuts. Silver Fox has the that's actually so flaw. That's, that's that is so flaw. Is Benny gross. with the queen high now too? Are we going to... Oh my gosh. Can you imagine from Tim's point of view, he's got a bet, a bet in front of him? Yeah, he just... Oh, he doesn't... Oh, he pots it. Um, that's I mean, I, I, so you know, you know what? It's not, crazy. I mean, obviously, Silver Fox knows he's got to know that Tim's got the nuts here. He's never going to pot it in this position without having the nuts, thousand. even if he just has a blocker, even if he just has Look at this face. He's like, what in the world? He knows, and especially he knows what Benny behind him. He knows Benny's not calling without a bare minimum a set. How sick! Just the flat, the the the, the check raise, check bet bet pot. Yeah, like it's just so sick. Yeah. Jeff, Jeff putting it together in his head right here. I'm not going to lie to you. I wasn't expecting a diamond on the turn. I was like, maybe you're expecting on the river, but on the turn, it's sick. And look at and look at Silver Fox, too. So Silver Fox has the third nuts. He's laying it down. Benny has the second nuts. But I think Benny... Benny no, I think actually, Benny is going to get in there. I don't think so. I think he knows that Tim is never potting without the nuts here. Ever. 20. He knows. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you see, I don't, I don't think he's laying it down. I got the pin high, that's all. Yeah, he's. Yeah, uh, it's unfortunate. He, you see, uh, it's sick too, because he, he, I heard him saying it out. I just didn't think he could fold it there, even he, though he said he what he had, so, he just can't. So listen, this is what separates the top players from your average amateur player. Like a lot of amateur players, like right there, Benny knows that Tim has the nuts. He knows yeah. it, but he just can't lay it. Down. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, the best players in the world will make a read and they will have to act on that read. It's one thing to make a read. It's another thing to act on it. And right there, Benny knows he's got the nuts. He's, he knows Tim's never repotting without the nuts there. He knows, but he just, he can't, he can't fold. So, and granted, he was short stacked. Uh, yeah, so I think that plays into it as well. But, um, you know, what are you going to do? Moving in, the, what is this, like hand number 30 or something like that? We better find out. I don't know. We better see. We're down to five, uh, not final, but we're down to uh, five players on feature yeah. table. I believe we're down to ten total. So the next player out, we will be going down to final table. Your homie here, raising it up. This looks like 6,500. Patty with some acerinos. Nope. Now, now I wonder if Jeff was if if Jeff's was reversed with Benny in that position, and Benny had the ten high flush and folded, and then it came to Jeff. I wonder if Jeff would have folded the second nuts there. Mm -hmm. It would have been a tough fold, but I, I feel no. Like yes, I, I I feel like he I feel like could Jeff have. would have gotten away from it. Did you? All right, guys, Steph's going to come in for a little bit. I'm going to take a little break, and uh, I'll be back in a few. What a guy, Gio. <laughs> you Gucci fan? E. E. It's exciting. Did I miss anything good? We lost like three players, I think. We lost seat one, Benny just now. Yeah, I was on the sidelines for that. Um, I didn't want to do any spoil alerts, but you know. Nine, ten, Jack. All suited. Look at Patty. A lot of people have just been having suited hands in there. They're just all the suits. How's it been working for them, though? You know, that is the question. It usually doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's going to be a gnaw. Oh, okay. Silver Fox is an interesting hand. Interesting. A lot of sixes are out right now. Actually, all the sixes are. Wow, yeah. If you got a six. Ace, four, five. No help to you, buddy. Oh my gosh, I think Silver Fox just flopped a straight. I think that's what it looks like, right? Ace, four, five, two, three? Six thousand. That's what it looks like. Uh, yes. <laughs> you are correct. Again. 
Flopping it like it's hot. Dang, a lot of. F this is the third straight that's been flopped this tournament. This guy. Crazy. Oh my god, and he's just getting action into him. Wow. He's running good just like you, buddy. Just bet. No, I was actually so godly. <laughs> just bet, bet, and pot. Oh man. Sheesh. Joaquin just has a pair of fives here, though. Right? I guess a pair of fives with like a straight draw. He knows, he's, he knows he can't be good. Yeah. Here. I wonder what he's thinking about with just a pair of fives. No way. Oh, you call here with a pair of fives. He wants to play, man. You know, that's how our boys play here. Should be no surprise to you, Gio. 17, 20. Yeah, you can't call it a pair of fives there. So, I believe we're one away from final. Okay. That's what we're watching here. There's your pre-flop raise with Dave at 18% as well as Silver Fox. Tim at 15, Joaquin at 12, and so is Patty at 12%. Nobody at 0% here. No one's afraid of action here. Again, this is hand number 33. Blinds are 15, 3,000, 3,000. Tim going to raise it up here to 7,000 under the gun. Just a nice little bump. Oh, wait. I. Oh, no. Is that 10,000? Yeah, that is 10,500, actually. I thought that was two red. or two. Uh, orange chips. Okay, so it's much bigger than I thought. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. Flops the nut flush draw. Over pair. Wow. Patty also with a flush draw, too, though. Wow. And a pair of fours. And a gut shot. Wow, a lot of yeah. I mean, she yeah, has a lot of equity I was like, here. Patty's not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, she has a lot of equity here. Wow. She gonna see if that flush comes in though. It's gonna be unfortunately for her. Ah, there's oh, the flush too. Wow, there's wow. all the diamonds. Patty's gonna be eliminated there. Yeah, pretty sick. I mean that that's that's like you can't ask for more. Her f that flop was just great for her, right? The flush draw, the straight draw. Man, you guys were sure run good. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> I want some of this, man. Like it's cute. Oh, no, I don't run this good in poker. I actually, have to work for it when I play poker. <laughs> He's like, no, nah, I don't run this good. Listen, either way, you still run hot though. <laughs> table games is the one you want to run hot, honestly, because like, yeah, like if you're running hot in table games, you're walking out with bread. <laughs> Run hot and everything. Oh, so I think we are going to final, I want to say, after losing Patty. You said one more, right, Steph? Yeah. So it looks like Patty is going to be... Yeah, because I believe I started oh. doing the final right here. Okay. Because remember, this is a 15-minute delay. So what are they paying the top four, right? The top four. So top four are going to get paid here, everybody. First place prizes... Um, 1,197, second is 798, third is 399, and fourth is 266. This is our 2K guaranteed PLO tournament, $100 buy-in. Starts at 11.15 a.m. We are currently down now to our final table here, as you guys see. And again, top four only get paid. Maybe they might do a chop, you know, or a bubble. Yeah. Sometimes they do. Most of the time, these guys all play together, so I wouldn't be surprised if they, get, you know, give the bubble a little something-something. Yes, this is it. We're going to see him get to final here. So it'll be a couple minutes. Also, if you guys are in the chat on Twitch, you could put exclamation point payouts. You could always see that as well. I'll give an example. Hmm? A couple minutes. Yeah, go. I got you. 
So here we go. Hashtag, or no, not hashtag, excuse me, Jesus. Someone's on social media here. So, as we get to final table, I will let everybody know what is going on here at the PBKC, aka the Action Palace. We do have our Money Maker tour coming up May 2nd through the 14th. Over $500,000 in guaranteed and prize pool, 20 trophy events, and also live streaming. So we're going to be streaming all of these tournaments that you're going to see, mostly final tables, probably featured. Also, Mince, Mincy from the bar stool and his stoolies will probably be here in the chat lighting it up as always. Big shout out to you guys. He has a huge, great charity tournament coming up during that as well. Don't miss that. Also, con Kentucky Derby Fest here at the PBKC, May 4th from 3 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Always a madhouse here. Always great time, good action. It's the best party south of Churchill Downs. Everyone has a, um, we do um, a hat contest, excuse me. So make sure you bring in your nicest and fanciest hat. You will be awarded cash prizes and dining certificates for that as well. Again, it's from... 3 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Here's our scheduled events. We're going to have some 95.9 True Oldies hand capping contest. There's going to be a plenty of things to do here. Trackside barbecue, cornhole, three-card poker outside, out and about. Also inside are $5 minimum bets. You always get paid on top now, no matter if you, even if the dealer beats you. If you have a special hand, you're definitely going to win. Hi, hello, UNC Medic. Thank you for joining us. Love that you're watching us in between calls. Thank you for what you do and everything. Shout out to you and all the people in medical field. Glad you could find some entertainment here. We are just um, in a break. We're just going down to final, so it'll be a couple of minutes before you see our gentlemen here at the final table. So just a few more minutes, and we're going to get back into the action. So stay tuned. How many are left? This is our final table here. Make time for it. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. And if you guys aren't already, please like, follow, and subscribe here on Twitch and YouTube. We're going to be here until this is over with, until we see a winner, a chop. doesn't matter. Again, we're officially nine-handed. This is our Thursday day tournament that started at 11.15 a.m. It's a $100 Omaha PLO tournament, 2K guaranteed. Top four are going to get paid. We had a total of 38 players. So total buy-ins, or they actually hit the guarantee, $26.60. First place prize is $1,197. Second is $798. Third place is $399. And fourth is $266. Hello, Oktai. How you doing, buddy? How you been? You wanted some money? Killing it at the gym? What's up, what's up? Also, want to say it was a huge tournament that we had this week in our 100K multi-flight. You guys are amazing. Crush the guaranteed, as always. I want to give a shout-out to our winner of that, Adele Joe, who took first place prize pool for $26,188. And Craig Polk for second place for twenty. dollars Three thousand in a two-way chop. You can rewatch it on YouTube and Twitch if you missed that. It was a great action all day. Um, hell of a job, guys. Hell of a job to everyone who played in that tournament. You guys were great. It was very entertaining. You guys are in the chat, of course, as always. And here, my boy Geo back in here. It's between me, Terry, and Geo here again. Like we said, a couple more minutes, and we're gonna get started here on the action. Oak spoke. Yep, that's our boy Oak Tai. Shout out to our fellow commentator broadcaster there also guys tomorrow <laughs> april 12th ten dollar poker party all right starts at 6 15 a.m it's a great opportunity for new players to get in the game thousand dollar guaranteed prize pool ten dollar entry ten dollar rebuys and ten dollar add-on on the break pretty sick so bring your girlfriend <laughs> your boyfriend husband wife whoever it is hey, oh, I know that lady. oh my god it's like how am i there and i'm here <laughs> oh my god it's so crazy um so yeah 
Ring anyone you want to ring. $10. Really cheap. It's kind of like bar poker, but it's even better because it's here at the Action Palace. Again, downstairs we have a bad beat. Oh. Over 67000 Both cards got to be in your hand, but, I mean, be nice to deal that one, huh? Skew. <laughs> also, Polly Shore coming in next week, I believe, April 19th through the 20th. Tickets are on sale. Two days here, so get in on that if you want to see a good show. I'm sure it'll be sold out, Polly Shore. It's before hmm. your time, kid. It's okay. Yeah, I know. I'm a... I know. You have <laughs> that phase, please. Stop talking. You don't have to say anything. Just your face said it all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Again, we'll be at the paddock, dinner and a show. So do not miss out on that. Again, our great charity poker tournament here is Sunday, April 21st, 2024. It's Wheels for Kids and also Autism, the Connections, serving for autism community. Hell of a tournament, hell of a job. Registration's at 11.30 a.m. Tournament starts at 12.30. Suggest you get here before noon. Again, it's a great cause. Uh, it's a Texas Hold'em tournament with rebuys, and it's fun and for new and experienced players as well. Look at Gene. There's our boy, OG Gene. I wonder if he had his ice cream yet. Uh, look at he's about to snack on something right now. I don't know. Gene is 101? Yeah. Gene is 101 years old. Last year he turned 100 here with us guys. You see him right in the middle, the gray sweater. Unless he's 102 now. No, he's 101. He's 101, yeah. yeah. He's definitely 101, but Crazy. either way. I don't know how he does it, but very impressive. It's actually crazy that he plays the way he plays too. Like he plays like, <laughs> like he, he's better than it's, most. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's actually crazy. A. The Gene washer. I love dealing to Gene. Look at that, all spades, man. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Decent hand to wake up to. It's not bad. Ooh, the button going to raise it up here. Oh. Huh. 10, 9, 7, jack. Just going to be able to take down the blinds here. Take it down now. It's a vibe. It's nice out, by the way. It's super windy. I always get so jealous. Every time we're inside working, it's always nice yeah. out. I'm like... And then when we leave, it becomes hot. And but why? <laughs> why? It's so rude. Gene, what you gonna do, my friend? Look at what Michael has with that mystery hand there. Well, it looks like the mystery hand's gonna call here. Too much aces. And a suit of ace. Huh. We are gonna see a raise here from Silver Fox in the button. 16,500. Big raise. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, Tim gonna repot? Pot? Yeah, that's what hey, he wanted. He just straight dominance, just like, oh, what's up? I like that. You know, Ace has been going around like crazy. Oh my table. gosh, yes. We had one earlier where someone had Aces and Aces. <laughs> it was Aces versus Aces. Pizza Friday, eat Italia, will be oh, in the house. Yeah. Shout out to Oktai. Always on the down low with the pizza and the sushi. So, it's saying the bet was 57. Yeah. Crazy. Silver Fox is like, do I really want to do this? What the hell is this guy got? Yeah, like. He has a double suited hand, so it's not, it's really, it's actually not the worst hand. With position, too. It's just he's in a, yeah, he's in a bad spot here, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a good fold. 
Oh, for sure. Yeah. It was just so much. That that repot was so much. They actually have a sushi pizza, Otai. Do they really? Yeah, some places do. Like, he's like, sushi pizza would be fire. <laughs> I feel like he's stoned. Nah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Some sushi pizza would be fire, man. Dang. <laughs> That's really awkward now. Now it's Jean's turn for some aces. Dude, I'm telling you, they're just going around. It's pretty crazy. So we're going to see Gene here under the gun. I believe he's probably going to raise this. Let's see how much, though. 9,000? Is that what he's going to do? Is it 9,000? Raise 9,000. There we go. Rolling. Oh, well then. We got a nine of spades and a six of clubs exposed. Oh. They hit the side of his hand. It was never intentional. Sometimes it happens. What know? was it that was shown? A six of, or that what hand uh, folded? It was Tim's hand. Yeah, the six of Aw, thanks, hold on, fan. <laughs> Always love you in the chat. Thanks for hanging and dropping in. Hope you win some money at your local poker room. This is Steffi, Mo, and Gio on the mic. Terry will be back taking a little break. I saw him out there when I was walking by him. <laughs> I literally saw him just sitting. Good for him. You know, it's nice out. Like I said, it's beautiful out. Ooh, and that's a call. That's a call. Of course. Look at Gene. So <laughs> Gene's like, Gene. it's look okay. Look at <laughs> just got some aces, buddy. Like, yeah. All right. Michael, Let's our see. dealer. Or Brian, I'm sorry. Brian, our dealer. I think we're going to change here. Wow. Ooh. Hits the last ace. That's crazy. A bank. So, Michael is going to be eliminated there. And Gene is going to hit that. I know. He thought he had a straight there. You almost, like he said, but <laughs> almost doesn't count in this game. Only so. counts in horseshoes and grenades, right? Yeah. So Gene gonna that was a nice one there for Gene. And the rich get richer as Gene slowly chips up there and there you go. See our chip count. See team on top with one thirteen, Bruce with one oh seven, Gene with ninety five point five, Mike C with ninety point five, Silver Fox with eighty two, Joaquin with twenty nine thousand, Dave with twenty nine thousand, and Angel with eight big points left at twenty five thousand in units. Blinds are fifteen, three thousand, three thousand. I love how it just goes from 90 to all the way down yeah, to 29. Yeah. I mean, listen. <laughs> What's his name? Benny. Hit. Yeah, Benny was running good with that last couple chips he had, actually. Sometimes I wish, like, you start, like, slow or steady in the beginning, and you just want to finish hot and on top. Yeah, I know. It's that just, ain't mad. Unless you're in the money, like, who cares how you get there? Let's be real. Personally, yeah, Benny, my opinion. Benny called a, a bet, and he had, like, 1,500 behind, and he ran it all the way back up to, like, 15,000 or something like that. That's how it be he like just kept sometimes. going. Pretty North Carolina. Yeah, I got family out there. Yeah? North yeah. Carolina? Not a fan, but it's all right. <laughs> it's just Florida's home. So used to it. All right, so we're going to see three ways to go. the flop. Gene, Joaquin, and Silver Fox. Hold them. You'll get them next time, buddy. Oh, my God. How do you like that flop, yeah. Joaquin? Gee, so Gene with a overpair, but Joaquin with trips. He be tripping. And Silver Fox with his flush draw, actually, as well. Oh, and he's going to jam Joaquin. here. You know what? He's like, why not? And oh, and here comes this call from Silver Fox. Can he get the Silver Fox? Yeah, he's going to call. Well, he's on the flush draw, like you said, as well. Gene also has the flush draw. He sure does. And with the overs. Like, I just don't know if he's going to, like... I wouldn't ooh, be he mad to see it. No, no, no. Yeah, 100%. I agree. But... How much does Silver Fox 553? The pot's about to be. Yeah, that's a big pot now. <laughs> so, well, now it's going to be heads up between Gene and Silver Fox, and Joaquin's all in for the main. Yes. So, let's see. It's going to be some side action. We're going to see what the turn card is, but. What turn card are we hoping for here? Diamond, right? Be some crazy stuff. Diamante? Nope. Ace on the turn. Oh, giving Joaquin the boat now. So, he's locked up basically for the main at this point. He's Lock, lock. Oh, Does yeah. he just? Oh, I thought he, oh man, it's sick. Another <laughs> ace on the river. It's like, which one do you want? <laughs> How are you gonna win this uh, main pot? You want to win it with the jacks or the ace? He's like, pick one, buddy. Jeez. Either way, I got them both. 
That's a good pot for Joaquin there. Yeah, I would say nice double up, but more like a triple. Yeah. Player. Big hand there. Huge. He said Jack. Did you guys see, if you watch this plenty of times, the stream and everything, you do see Joaquin as a repeater here. His final table is like crazy. I mean, always a hell of a job. All these guys. We see Bruce, Silver Fox, Mike, Gene, Tim, all of these guys. a bunch of calls here. I wouldn't blame Gene to get in there. Yeah. yeah, so we're gonna see it. Four way to the flop. I like it. Not bad at all. Five, nine, eight. So Bruce here with two pair. <coughs> King on the turn. Some people picking up some straight draws now. Yeah. Flush draw action. Oh, well, actually, Tim. Yeah, Tim with the flush draw. Excuse heads me. Up. Yeah. So we're going heads up. Uh, I couldn't tell if that was a diamond or not. It looked red. Was it? I can't see. Oh, oh I heard flush. <laughs> yeah, so I guess. It yeah, there's our right. answer. There it is. Whoop. It's gonna take that one down. Flush on the river, just like that. <laughs> there you go, Baday. Always a pleasure, Gio. Go enjoy yourself. Treat yourself. My boy Terry, what's up? Oh, hey, what's up, girl? You enjoying that nice weather outside? Um, I didn't go outside, but when what? I le when I left my house today, it's so nice and windy. Look at it. All the recycling bins were blown over. <laughs> Everything. It was more like trash for me, but I thought it was tomorrow. I thought it was like vandals for a second because there was no wind. Like when I oh, left like the, the house, trash there was. Pandas? I thought so. That or a bunch of hooligans. Let them have it. <laughs> they deserve it. B big fan of the coons, are you? I am a trash panda, so yes. <laughs> are you? <laughs> Ooh, Silver Fox playing it like it's high-low. It sure is. I mean, listen, he's bored. He wants some action. I see that. I ain't mad. Angel's coming through with a nice little double-suited... Yeah, while Keem was a little short stack before uh, you dipped in a uh, so was Tim. Nice little triple up there, and Tim took down a nice pot as well. Oh, looks like they're both gonna hit a little something here. Angel's got top pair, top kicker, and the fox has the nut flush draw. So, oh, I like that. The fox. The fox. Not the flox. No, no, he's the fox. <laughs> I did that actually in the beginning. <laughs> I did it before you when it was me and Geo. <laughs> What does the fox say? <laughs> mini, 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 meow. What a dumb song. But it's so catchy. I mean, we're still singing it. I know. What's well, on the Just Dance game that I have? Oh, <laughs> it's is it? It's kind of hard to get it off my head. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> when my kid was really young, we would do like, you know, what animal is this? Is it a reptile? Is it a mammal? What, you know, what does a cow say? What is and then randomly... When that song, when we were playing that song, I'd be like, what does a fox say? And we would sing that song all the time, and she'd be like, like me, 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 me. <laughs> it was very cute. Cute. Yeah. I love that. It's like he was trying to hide it. He was like, calm down, Silver Fox. Mike C, loving his shirt, the Mario Kart. I'll definitely beat him in that later. First of all, I've Undefeated never lost. I've never lost. In okay, Mario I'm Kart. bringing my switch in tomorrow, and I'm beating all of you. I will smash you. I will actually make you never want to play that game again. Okay, cute. Um, I did it all weekend during Easter. That's cute though. So I'm defeated. Not only do I have three decades on you, but I've also been playing on the matter. Switch. No, it does. I've been playing on the no. Switch, and my kid oh. makes me better too because she thinks she's good, but I, I humble her. Be humble. So Joaquin be tripping and is gonna bet that. That's a pretty good hand. Yeah, sure is. So it's gonna be heads up between Joaquin and Tim here. Tim. Oh wow, Tim just hits oh, the two outer. Actually, he has four outs with the two queens as well. But oh, thanks, buddy. 
Oh, wow, but look, Joaquin hits the river. He's got deuces full, and all Tim has is three nines. What a river. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Gene? My guy. Oh, gee, Gene. Gene. I, I said, I wonder if he had his ice cream yet. You know he did. <laughs> I mean, after I said that, he took down a nice pot, so he might have. We have one of our best, most tenured dealers in the box, Brian. Yeah. That's my guy. It's your buddy, guy. You're not my guy, friend. <laughs> <laughs> You're not my friend, guy. You're not my guy, dude. <laughs> South Park, dude. That was top tier. It's choice. My favorite South Park episode is the World of Warcraft. And Eric Carpenter like this. Can't beat it. Mm -hmm. It could be the end of the world of Warcraft. <laughs> Ooh, Mike's got a pretty b playable hand and a playable stack, too. He said, ah, screw it. <laughs> Look at he's about to call he's me. He's like, like, that's going to be a gnaw. It's like Mike took a trip to the barber looking nice and clean. I need a trim. I need a beard trim. No, you don't think so? You you just like me the way I am. I know. Yeah. I appreciate it. But I understand. You know, if you want to do it, feel fresh to death. I understand. Got a Queen 4 9 rainbow board. Not too much to like about that. Tim hits. Uh, Tim's got a gutter ball and a nut flush draw, it looks like. Actually, that's four diamonds. Three. It looks like your graphics are a little off, I think. It's all right. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe it's just out of off. order. <laughs> I am actually off. You're uh, out of order. I am. <laughs> <laughs> so Kings is going to take it down. There you go, Dave. Take that pot. Let's go. <laughs> it's actually funny he says that because I believe when he took out Chris Moneymaker, was it two or three times last year? Mm -hmm. They did send him to the World Series of Poker. Do you want to hear a funny story? Yeah. Well, actually, no, never mind. I won't tell the story. Say it. Oh. All right, all right. Did Debbie just say the table is too quiet or too wide? Both. <laughs> it is a wide and quiet table. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're focused, man. But, yeah, hold on. Actually, um, Gene did do that, and poker.org actually did a nice little article on him. We actually oh, had really? a clip for a while. Yeah, when we go on breaks on our tournaments, we'd play it. Oh, it's cool. pretty dope, yeah. And they put Gene through the WSOP. Listen, Gene is a hell of a player, and he That's will insane. play, you know, eight to twelve day. hours a day, he and and he will day. rack, he will rack up. Oh wow, this is a this is a kind of a messed up flop here. We got Mike flopping the nuts Jesus. and Dave flopping the second nuts here. Oh, uh, how you like that, buddy? Silver Fox has some backdoor nut draws. He also has top pair and an open ended. Wow, Mike checked the nuts. Dave's gonna bet the second nuts. Oh boy, we're gonna see some action. It's gonna know. be spicy. Let's see if Dave's going to be able to put Mike on the nuts here. Because I got a feeling Mike is going to repop it. He is. Wow. Mm. This is going to be another one of those situations where Dave is, should know where he's at, but is he good enough to lay it down? Because Dave has no. Oh no, actually, he does have a redraw to the nuts if a jack oh, comes. Oh, he's going to shove here. Yeah. Shut in. He's going to need a jack and a jack only. I have to clip this. I feel like a clip is coming. Nope. Jack 10 is going to hold up. That's a tough one, Dave. Yeah. Dave's going to head out of here in eighth place. 
And the rich get richer with Mike. Mike, what a hell of a player. <laughs> I love when you do that. <laughs> it's so good. Be like, someone's yelling over there. Must be excited about the racing. Die, horse, die. No. No, that's not what I say. That's what I hear all the time. I wonder when I'm if they through. really do say it, though. Are you kidding me? I hear it all the time. No. Yeah. They, yeah, that's that's their way of saying go faster, horse. <laughs> I know. It's terrible. Mm. I would never wish that upon any animal. I'm just telling you what I hear in the halls. Is he mad about it? Probably not. Whose car was it? it was supposed to be. I think it was Angel's. I wasn't sure if it was him or Silver Fox. Well, King, Mystery Hand. Silver Fox with Mystery Hand. Angel's Can gonna get all walk. Oh no, just kidding. No. No, the Fox potted. Just kidding. Ooh, Angel's definitely gonna play this hand. Uh, yeah. So technically, Angels, I'm sorry, Jeff and Lee with fours. Wow. Fox has, or Angels got the nut flush draw, and wow, fours are going to hold. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty gross. That <laughs> is gross. <laughs> pretty gross. Oh, my God. So that's it for Angel. GG's, buddy. Yeah, it didn't do anything wrong there. It's definitely, when you're short stack, that's a very playable all-in hand there, especially when he's in the big blind. Yeah, 100%. And we're down to our final six. We are final paying out four-handed. Yeah. What will most likely happen is when we get down to five players, everyone will throw in 20 bucks to pay the, the fifth-place player. That's what I say. At least they'll give them something, especially these guys. They all play together. They're friends. Yeah. Gene might not do it. He's a killer. I don't know. Gene <laughs> might do it. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> See Mike on top with 139 and Chits, Joaquin with 114, Tim 99, Bruce 86, Silver Fox 73.5, and Gene with 14 big blinds left. Mean Gene. OG Gene. Hand number 44. Blinds are 2,000, 4,000, 4,000. We actually don't do a, a double big blind in Omaha. No, we do not. Do you want to explain why we don't? If I knew the explanation, I would say it, but I don't know what it is. Because we said so. Oh shit. Okay. Well, that, I mean, that's that works. <laughs> oh no, I'm just I was just going with it. Cause no, you said I, if I knew. <laughs> no, listen, that's as good a reason as any. I feel like I'm, you're right. I don't know if that's the actual <laughs> reason, but if if you say it, yeah, I yeah, like sounds it. good. Sure. I'm not gonna argue with you. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Okay. Let's see, Bruce has a gutter ball and a pair. Joaquin's got jacks. Silver Fox also with a gutter ball. Back doors. Mike with the kings and the pair of nines. Mike likes his hand. Fox is going to see another card here. Kind of an... I don't know if I like that call from Jeff. Mm. Mike now has two pair. The kings are inconsequential. Ooh, nice word. Thanks. Very impressive. Let's see if Jeff represents the straight here. He does have a three blocker. Mike only has two pair, not a good two pair. Jeff coming in with a bluff. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see if Mike can sniff it out. Look at Mike's face. <laughs> Mike's yeah, look at his face. I wouldn't be surprised if Mike put him on like a six, seven, eight type hand that did not come through. Because if, if Jeff would have hit the, the straight on the turn with three, six, I feel like he would have bet it. That's what he's thinking. He's like, um. But he could have aces up, which has Mike beat, too. Nice bet. Good nice. bet by Jeff. Let's Very see if he puts good in. bet by oh, Jeff. Jeff's doing the mock brow wipe like he was sweating the call, which he was. Oh, he, he definitely was. He's, he's like, like oh, he's going to show God. the bluff. He's showing the bluff. Mike's like, I just can't call that. See? Wow. 
Wow, nice bet by Jeff. He, he knew where he was at, and he knew where Mike was, and he assumed Mike probably wouldn't make a call without some type of straight or set hand. So good, good recognition by Jeff's part there, a.k.a. the Silver Fox. <laughs> what does the fox say? <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bought that, bitch. Bought that. Those of you just coming in on the chat, we are down to our final six players. We're paying out our top four with first place getting 1,200. I know you took your brain cells before. We show sure is. Story time with Jeff. Never fails. It's always story time with Jeff. Oh, yeah. I, I said, I'm glad that he's not that player. Oh. If I call you with my hand, you would have been like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yep. But if you call, it's fine. I wonder what Silver Fox has. Gene's got two pair. Fox has probably not too much if he's still checking. I going to say a flush, but nah. Nah. Fives and sixes are going to be the best hand. Gene's going to take down a little baby pot. Still a dub. Dubski. Let's go. Let's go. We got a total of 587,000 chips in play. Brian, we're looking for new commentators. You feel like filling in at all? I know you're you're a talkative guy. You could <laughs> come on in and this guy do he some won't work. Shut up. Wait. Me. <laughs> hey, we're trying to get out of here by five, okay? <laughs> He's like, I'll try to make that work. I gotta get oil changed. <laughs> this is so expensive. We got Brian and Debbie, our two dealers who are going to be rotating throughout yeah. our final table. Mm -hmm. Hello. <coughs> Debbie doesn't even say push it. She just went like this. That's how I do it at the table when I'm dealing. So good. And they're like, what? And you're like, let's like, come you, on, buddy. You know, you know what? <laughs> yeah. You're like, you want to reach for it like I do, dog? Yeah, she don't even give uh, Gene a chance. Just. Yeah, straight up just does it. Yeah. Let's go. An interesting flop. Not sure, sure what Tim is. has. Bruce has a couple of straight draws. He's well, got a double gutter. Tim just checked that anyways, but Bruce is gonna lay down the double gutter. He doesn't have a flush draw. Joaquin does have a ten high flush draw, but he's gonna take it down. Wow. Just like that. I mean, there was a lot in the pot, I guess. It was a decent pot. Yeah. It wasn't bad. Yeah, again, it's kind of hard to play Omaha when you're not really playing deep stack. You know, I mean, when the blinds are getting pretty high, you really, you really got to pick and choose your spots here. What does the fox say? Coffee with cream and sugar, please. <laughs> no, just cream. Oh, just cream, no sugar. No sugar. Gotcha. Isn't there technically like sugar yes, in I the cream? Yes, I was just going to say that, yes. I was thinking that yes. too. I was like, but it's still technically sugar, just not as much. You're preaching to the choir. Okay. As long as he knows that. I don't know if he knows that. <laughs> I mean, he just had a strawberry ice cream, so <laughs> maybe Jeff's immune to the sugar. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> that reach, that reach is like, damn it. That was pretty funny. 
<laughs> so that flop. He's gonna check to Gene here, and I think he's gonna make a bet. He's like, if one of you boys got the six, Come at me, bro. let me know about it. Yeah. Well, Joaquin's thinking about it, so he's either got a six or a flush draw. He's not just calling with a nine here, I promise. Are you promise? I swears. All right. Well, it's going to be heads up between Gene and Joaquin here. Gene and Joaquin? Joaquin. Sounds like a variety hour. See if Gene. Wow, Gene's gonna put mm. a bet in here. Interesting. Mm. Let's see if Joaquin just have, has a flush draw. He's gonna fold. If he has a six, he's gonna call. Yeah. Six it is. <laughs> he doesn't have a boat, so he's just gonna call. Gene's gonna need a ten here. And a ten only. Oh, oh my God. Well, there it is. <laughs> I don't know. What to Terry, say. it's like you put it out there, bro, bro. Now, can you imagine if Joaquin has a seven eight of spades? <laughs> That'd be so sick. So gross. That would be pretty sick. Imagine. Look at Gene. Gene's salivating. He's like, please bet. <laughs> <He's like, laughs> Sorry, that was Gene eating ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the recap. You're welcome. Dude, have you tried the Snickers ice cream though? Uh uh. That shit bussin'. Does it? It's really good. We went to I thought Oreo was good. It's way better. Is it? We yeah, went to, try it. We went to Sweet Frog yesterday. What's that? It's uh, frozen yogurt. Sweet Frog? It's called Sweet Frog. Damn, and, um, I've never heard of it. Wow, dude. Gene's putting in the call me bed here. Oh, Joaquin's going to put it in. The, no, he's not. He's gonna be, he's gonna, he's gonna, what if he has it? He's gonna, there's no, no, he would have bet a straight flush there. He's never checking a straight flush. He got something. Maybe it's a flush. I would have put in a little more if I was Gene, but... Gene's been doing this a lot, a lot longer than me, so. I'd you know. Gene's like, well, I hit the uh, basically two outer on you. Yeah, I'm th pretty sure Joaquin had a six. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Terry, it sounds like you need to play, my boy. I do, I do. He's like, I am, I am. I I do and I am. Look at you. For those of you that can't hear, Joaquin said he had a six. Just like I said. <laughs> Kistles. <laughs> Imagine doing that at a table with I, a bunch I, of guys. If Gene did that, I'd lose it. <laughs> That'd be amazing. He's the only guy that could get away with that. <laughs> <laughs> It'd probably be a little slower. But even cooler, though, you know, because it's like slow action. Gene gave you the Mexican stare down. Yeah. Like Clint Eastwood. Mm -hmm. Gene actually put it in such a good bet there now that I think about it because if Joaquin only had a six, the flush came through, the full know, house is out sick. there. He's not calling anything more than 6,000. So, I mean, Gene obviously had to get really lucky there, but I'm wondering if the spade came through, if Gene would have made like a bluffier bet or if he would have just tried to check it. But A bluffier bet. I like that. Because I mean, if, cause if he tries to pot it right there, Joaquin snap folds, but Gene put in probably the only amount that Joaquin's calling. Do 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 So Joaquin's got a king, Silver Fox has a king, and Tim also has a king. Everybody's got a king. King me. Gene's got a pair in the nut flush draw. Ooh, sneaky check. Sneaky sneaky. Sneaky. Gene now has a straight draw to go along with his flush draw. Silver Fox picked up a flush draw as well with the over pair. So Silver Fox putting out an $8,000 bet with a flush draw, like you said. Gene's definitely going to come along and see a river here. Why not? He got Jeff, it. Jeff, come on, buddy. Stop Jeff. it, Jeff. Gene's on it. I know. Give him some credit, bro, bro. You don't need that. Stop it. 
So Tim's going to come along with the gutter ball and the pair of kings, and that is going to give Gene the straight. <laughs> My Jesus. dog is running clean. Boy, he's running hot. Clean. Let's see if he puts in another small bet. Joaquin's call betting with kings and threes. That's an interesting blocker bet. Jeff knows where he's at. He's out of there. See if Gene puts in a raise or if he just calls because he doesn't have the nuts. Five sevens, the nuts, but he does have a straight to the six. So we know he's definitely calling. Perhaps a raise. That's what I'm saying. I don't think he raises without the nuts here. He could, though. He could. But it's just, it doesn't, it's not Gene style raising without the nuts. Maybe he's switching it up on us. Nah, he's just going to call. It's like, psych! Oh. Yep, just a call. All right, all right. Joaquin shows two pairs. Gene says, son, that is not good enough. <laughs> son, <laughs> that is not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dude, Craig is. Oh, my. That's great. Did you see the other thing he posted? Uh-uh. <laughs> that is good. Look at the other one he posted. I'm surprised he didn't get banned yet. If the oh casket God. fits, you must acquit. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. Wait, <laughs> there's another one. No. Dude. I know. He's God. The oh biggest troll ever. <laughs> Those are pretty good, though. Wow. I know. Wow. That's, uh... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All-time Bronco great. <laughs> so we're going to hell. Oh, my God. I can't. Oh, my gosh. Do 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 Look at Gene. He's just slowly stacking those chips like everyone yeah, man, sees it. He's got all the time in the world. Mike's got a monster. See, Mike's not the kind of guy. Oh, I was just going to say, Mike's not the kind of guy that's just going to check this back as he, he checks sure it did. back. <laughs> yeah, eat your words, <laughs> Terry. Uh, it's an okay flop. Mike, he's got the over pair still. The fox is check. Wow, Mike's checking again, huh? Interesting. Maybe he wants somebody to bet for him. He's just trying to do a little Trap. pot control. I don't think he's trapping. He's just doing pot control because he only has an over pair. And an over pair in Omaha is just, just that. It's just, just a pair. It's mid. Yeah, so he's, he's keeping it keeping it small. I feel you. Wow, Bruce coming along with top pair. He's got a straight draw Bruce. also. A five will give Bruce the nuts. Bruce, Bruce. Bruce, Bruce. A four is actually going to help Mike out a lot here because if Jeff checks, I think he knows, Mike knows that his two pair would be pretty good. If Jeff bets with two players behind, though, Jeff almost definitely has minimum three of a kind, probably a boat. I could see that for sure. Yeah. I don't think Jeff's ever betting here with two players behind on a bluff. If he does, it'd be pretty ballsy. Yeah. Mike's going to look him up, though, and I don't blame him. I agree. 15, so he, so Jeff bet less than half pot, so it's it's a very inviting bet, too. Yeah, that's I think it's a really good fold on Mike's part. Jeff's going to show it? I think he showed a four and... Yeah, he's got, a, he's got a four and an eight. He's got fours full of eights. That's what I'm saying. Jeff's never go. betting there with two players behind him without four of a kind minimum, let alone a boat. So that's a good fold on Mike's part. That's a really good fold. Really Mike, good Mike's, fold. Mike's a good player. You can, you can All these tell. guys are good players, but definitely that was a great fold by Mike for sure. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people fall in love with those hands and can't fold them. Yeah. But he did a good job by keeping the pot small in the beginning. But I also feel that had he potted that pre-flop, Jeff would have been out of there with three, four, eight, whatever. A hundred percent. He would have been out of there as well. So Mike may have lost money by not um, potting pre-flop 
But once he does play it that small, you have to continue playing small mm -hmm. after the flop. So lost the least amount. Good fold. Next hand. That's great. <laughs> I can't. That is good. Ooh. So Bruce is on with aces. The fox calls with kings. Um, the fox is going to need a king or diamonds. That is not it. No, it's not. And he's going to need a king and a king only. And Bruce is going to... Yeah, Bruce doesn't have 120,000, so... The graphics are a little <laughs> off there. Just a smidge. <laughs> Just a little Just bit. Just a tad. 55. Oh, Jeff angrily throws that down. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. No, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Damn it. Not feeling that. So there's your chip count. You see Gene on top with 28% of the chips in play. Oh, Bruce has 113 now. After I thought it said he yeah, had yeah, yeah, after oh, okay. the fact. Yeah. I got you. Uh, then the graphics mm -hmm. are actually spot on, guys. Just kidding. For 159,000, Bruce with 18 big blinds as well as Mike C with 113 and 111. Tim with 11 big blinds, 71,000. Joaquin with 11 big blinds, 70,000.5. And now Silver Fox, seven big blinds with 46.5. And then Danger Zone. Three thousand, six thousand, six thousand. I always think of Top Gun when I hear that. Of course you do. I mean, if you don't, like, what are you then doing you with your life? you haven't seen Top Gun. I mean, but even if you didn't. Then you shouldn't think of Top Gun because you've never seen it. It's a great movie. It is. The second one was really great. I didn't it see it, but <gasps> I heard it was, I know, trust me. Get out. I know, I know I heard it's it was fantastic. It's on Paramount. I know this. Go watch it. Have you watched Three Body Problem on Netflix? No. You told me about it. Did I already? Yeah. I already told you about yeah. it? And you still haven't watched I it? I have so much reality trash I have to catch up with. We watch a little reality trash in my house. I it's not it. trash, though. We, we don't watch the trashy shit. We watch the good reality. We watch Survivor. No, I don't watch that. That's, uh, that's you that's watch the trashy shit. It's not trashy enough for you? Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's, it's way too real. <laughs> <laughs> I like to watch the challenge, 90 Day. Oh, I, I love the one. challenge. Dude, so we're, the we're not on this season. We're not on this season. Watch it. Yeah. Just starting. There's okay. only two episodes right now. Oh, my God. It's amazing. I've, I, but I've been watching the challenge since Day I was Day like, one, since the 90s. Since, yeah, yeah since when I was like a kid. Real world, yeah, real I know. Rules, yeah. Watch it. It's so good. See, that's, see, I don't consider that My as heart. I don't consider that as trashy. It's like all that Vanderpump shit and like Housewives and all that garbage. Michael H., Ice Cream Gene. That is correct, Michael. Gene is the real life rounder. He really Bro, is. Oh, you ain't lying. I know. I it's to toasty, start, huh? I was about to start shedding. It's, it ain't there anymore. It's out there, I think. It's disrespectful. I mean. I'm all right, I guess. I don't know. Are you? You want it? I don't care. I'm about to start stripping down, so if you guys want to see it, keep the fan away. You got to do like the jackass theme song, the party boy. <laughs> Remember Chris? <laughs> and it's coming with the tie next time, the bow tie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like our old uh, work uniform. Yeah, the starchy tuxedo shirts. Dude, I clown kept, suits. I kept those for years. I burned them. Did you? Because I hated him so much. I threw him away eventually. Yeah. yeah here. We had Tra yeah, it's like terrible. the actual long sleeve tuxedo yeah. shirts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so yeah. it was black terrible. bow tie when I worked here back in the day, but they were so starchy and stiff in the middle. They had like the ruffles. Nobody looked good in them. Oh, my Not, God. Nobody. I mean, I did, but I didn't. No. They were just uncomfortable as hell. No, we all looked like clowns. I did, and I looked like a James Bond over here. Lee. Poor Terry. He thought he did. I did. I do. <laughs> Joaquin waking up with a monster. Pocket aces with a suited ace. Bruce with kings. Thank Just going to call. Michael H. Getting my references. My dog. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> I'm never going to Vegas with you ever. These guys, we met up with him. You were a part. You were a party to it. You didn't stop it from happening. Get this: the classic aces versus kings with oh, Joaquin wow, and flop. Bruce, and oh my God, flopping like it's hot. So Joaquin flops top set. Bruce has a blocker to the nuts, but he does not have the nuts, so it's probably gonna be easy for him to fold this one. Uh, it should be yes. 
But will he? I mean, if I was Joaquin, I would definitely check this. But And like you said, it's like you know Gene. That's why he's the OG. Gene ain't got time for that. No, he's like, on the next hand, bro. Move yeah. the button for you. Let's go. Gene ain't got time to bluff. <laughs> you see Joaquin's tattoo? It's an ace up his sleeve. I think it's Ace Jack. I could be wrong, but I think it's Ace Jack. It's definitely arts. an ace. Yes, I definitely is. get that reference. But I want to know what the hand, the card on. I think it's Ace Jack. Mine's do seven offsuit. It would be. <laughs> it says it's, it's not the card you're dealt in life. It's how you play them. Oh, okay. I like that. Where so is it? On my back shoulder. Is it? Yeah. Is it is unsuited? It's unsuited, yeah. Nice. Deuce diamonds, seven of spades. Oh, man. Different and colors and everything, huh? Yeah. I got to play it sometimes. <laughs> it's before, like, deuces was actually a real thing with me. The original deuces? Yeah. What's up, Mike, in the chat? Oh, definitely. He still Dude, is you, a party you boy. You know Gene was a party boy in the, in, in back he of the He parties day. with ice cream. <laughs> the one runs better than him. Gene was definitely a party boy, no doubt. Look at him. Yeah, definitely. So no one's got a 10. Yes. Seat one is train wreck, aka Silver Fox. Gave him that nickname. It's very yep. fitting. Yep. Seat one is has many monikers. You are correct, Michael. And our boy Mike C letting out a bet here. I love it. I love the bet here. He's Me too. He picked up a flush draw. He's got a pair of nines. He said, "If no one's got a ten, I'm probably going to get this through." But Joaquin like, does damn have. Damn it, Joaquin! Always going to see. Joaquin's a got hand. a pair and a nut flush draw. Uh, it's not going to come through. Let's see if Mike puts in another bet here. If Joaquin checks, I wouldn't be surprised to see Mike um, bet this river. Ah! Ooh, it's good, though. Nine's good. <laughs> good good check back, actually. Good check back. Silver Fox is like, damn it, I would have had that hand, too. Would you? Oh, yeah. I always like to say story time with Jeff. Uh, story time is the speech yeah, play. That's it's, funny. It's always got something to well, say. Yeah, but half the time his his story time is <laughs> when the hand's over. <laughs> like he's not even in the hand half the time when he. Even there's when look he at does. our payouts, guys. We're gonna pay our top four. First place is getting twelve hundred. Second place eight hundred. Third place four hundred. And fourth place is a cool two hundred and sixty-six dollars. Damn, I love how you straight round up. You're like, nah, we're not doing change. I ain't got time to be given time. all the numbers. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, my guy Brian in the box. Expect to see a lot of hands get out. Brian reads hands like kindergartners read. Go, dog, go. Look at that pitch. Smooth like butter. Brian's got places to be, man. Listen, he'll do that, man. Who? Makes the you fox? a good player sometimes. What does the fox say? <laughs> Call me and lose. <laughs> That's our new segment. What does the fox say? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We should do that. A.K.A. Story Time with Jeff. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make this guy famous. He's going to be like, Steph. He's, he's already famous in his yeah, own Yeah, he's going to be like, Steph, I already made myself famous. Uh-huh, exactly. I make you guys famous. Uh-huh. I'll bet money he'll say that to us. I mean, he's already said it in his mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, what a flop. Bruce flops top pair. Gene's got oh. top pair and a flush draw, backdoor straight so draws. So does Silver Fox has a flush draw as well. And he's got a, a gutter ball to the nuts and as well. Bruce, oh, my goodness. This hand be straight <coughs> savage. Let's see. I think Gene, well, Gene doesn't have the best flush draw. He does have a pair, though. I know. Let's see, let's, see what, let's see what Gene does. He knows he's got a couple players behind him, too, so. What's he that's not the flop. Do? That's not the flop he's hoping for. God, I, I love Gene. He he always makes the right decision. It's impressive. It's so impressive. It is. I look Jeff contemplating over here. Jeff is short stack, and he would have to put almost half of his stack in to on a draw. He has draws to, to a flush and a straight, but he probably knows exactly where Bruce is at here, <laughs> to be and honest He with knows you. that Bruce always has a hand. He's I mean, going to bet. If he doesn't have a set, he's got the nut flush draw, which would have Silver Fox's flush draw beat. So it's a... Uh, I know if Jeff had more, he'd obviously yeah, play. Good fold, Jeff. Good fold. Yeah, bud. you can. Good fold. Yeah. I wonder if I wonder if Jeff had known that Bruce had a set if he would have called, because then he knows that his flush draw would have been live. So yeah, that'd be interesting. But Gene, Gene is so sharp, boy. It's it's impressive. <laughs> <Michael>. <laughs> 
<laughs> Very good. Nice, nice, Mike. Good job. ICM was back when it wasn't a thing. He's, he's playing with his with his ICM money right now. Dude, he invented the ICM. Yeah, yeah. He was there when it was born. I, I wonder who really invented it though. Gene. Imagine. Back in the age of elves. Sounds like a side quest. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think he's gonna fold it here. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good, good read, Steph. Thank you so much. <laughs> is Joaquin potting? Yeah, he sure is. Potting with a mediocre hand on the button, gonna take down the blinds. I like it. Ah, that was a one time too. Yeah. Can you get it no, one time? No, you, you don't have it. I'll tell you sometime why I know. Now I have kings, Jack. Nah. Oh, Jeff's right. <laughs> Jeff's spot on. I'm going to go home and look at that shit. He spot on. And he's going to come back the next day and be like, you. You're making up a good hand, but I know I'm right. It's all that matters if you're That's right. That's pretty impressive, Silver Fox. He's spot on. Silver Fox yeah. is pretty damn impressive. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, Michael, we had a total yeah. of 38. Yeah, 38, yeah. Yeah, 38 entries. We had a prize pool total of 26.60, yeah. so okay. more than the 2K guaranteed. <laughs> Tournament started at 11.15 a.m. Now the final table, at least the last hour, at least. Give or take, maybe a little bit more. It's almost 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for anyone else joining us. Mike, you just got all the stats. Yeah. You just got everything. I mean, Even the stuff you I'm didn't know you needed, you got it. <sighs> what I'm here for. <laughs> Anything else? Probably. Yes, this is the PLO tournament. Yeah, Hi is. only. Hi. Hey, is <laughs> Did you say I'm not folding this? Silver Fox is going to take a shot here with a pretty mediocre hand, but... Shots I'm, fired. I mean, in Omaha, he's going to try and just... No, thank you so much. If I could say that word, I will. What but word? I feel like I'm going to butcher it. What word? <laughs> oh, statistician? There you go. Gotcha. No, say it now. No. <laughs> say it one more time. Are these guys taking a break? Statistician. Statistician? Mm hmm Okay. I said it. Yay. <laughs> it's like me when I play. I got to kill. I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. I got him. <laughs> He's still doing it all the time. All right, guys. We're going to take a quick little break. Yeah. I think so. Well, let's do a little commercial here, a real quick. Tiny, a little tiny commercial. Don't yeah. go anywhere, guys. We're just we're actually just chipping up. It's only going to be a little break, and uh, we got a little Yay, 30 clap. second promo. PBKC is your entertainment destination for poker, table games, OTB, Paddock Live events, and exceptional eats. It's showtime in the Paddock Restaurant with comedian Polly Shore, April 19th and 20th. Petty Nick's Dinner Show, April 26th, and PBKC's Kentucky Derby Fest, May 4th. Bet Sports Now, powered by Hard Rock Bet. Go to pbkennelclub.com forward slash Hard Rock Bet. you right back. Oh, look at me. Hey, it's Steph. And Hi. My, and my shoulder. Look at that. That's all you're getting, though. Aw, so Aww. cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Well, I guess we can take this time to uh, remind you of all the cool stuff we got going on. We got Polly Shore coming through on April 19th and the 20th. Let him know. Is that a coincidence that Polly Shore is going to be here on 420? Oh, he's definitely like smoking on the stage, probably. I hope so. Yeah, definitely. We got Polly Shore coming through for two dates uh, in a week. We got uh, Tom Petty and Stevie Nicks tribute band, the iconic tribute, coming through on April 26th. It's called Petty Nicks. Petty. <laughs> We got uh, the Derby ooh, Festival. The Kentucky Derby. That's going to be huge, as always. May 4th. Um, we're going to be celebrating all day, but we actually have a special event from 3 to 7.30. Um, <coughs> okay. Excuse me. We're going to have a barbecue, bars, mint juleps, the whole nine. We're going to have an, uh, an outdoor party by the track. And the hat contest. Don't forget that. Where? Your fancy hats. Or bring your... Oh, thanks, me. Slam guys, the like button for if me. If you guys have never been to a Kentucky Derby party at the Palm Beach Kennel Club, you need to come. It's lit. It is so much fun. All the ladies show up. 
Um, they all come <laughs> out. All the, the ladies. They they do though. They it's, really do. It's, it's so impressive. Cool. I mean, like, uh, so most of the time here at the track, it's probably about a, a I don't know, a nine. Ninety to ten. Easily, easily nine. Maybe eight nine to 20. ten. No, no, no. It's a nine to ten ratio of dudes to ladies. But on track day, we're like fifty fifty because all if the you ladies single, come out. single, by the way, guys. All right. All the ladies come out. They there be wearing you go. Their fancy You're hats, welcome. They put on the flowers. Who's and, your um, biggest wingman's here? Hmm? We are. You we are. <laughs> hey. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. There's just a lot of action. They're running uh, the horses all day, yeah. and um, three car poker will be outside. Of, oh yeah, we'll have yeah. the we'll have all the poker going on. We'll have tournaments going on that day too. If you don't just like the horse races, but just if just just the the people watching alone is is worth it. It's entertaining. It is so entertaining. Hundred percent. So come on down. That's uh, Saturday, May fourth. Um, a week later, uh, Mother's Day, we're gonna have a, a special Mother's Day buffet at the Paddock Restaurant on May twelfth, aka also known as my birthday. <gasps> Is it your birthday? My birthday on Mother's Day. I was telling Gio earlier. How old are we turning? We're going to be turning 41. Paige, I was going to say 35. Aw, aren't you sweet? I'm going to be turning 41. My birthday's on Mother's Day. And nobody ever sushi. comes to my party. But we'll come bring on the down. party to you, bring buddy. Bring the party here, baby. That's right. Um, you do have to make a reservation for our Mother's Day buffet, but uh, we have plenty of seats available right now. Bring your mommies down. You know, Kids play eat for the horses, free under play four. some poker. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Kids eat for free under four? Yeah. Oh, damn. My kid's going to be four. Even though she's seven, she will be four on that day. Listen, she can't, she I, I went to a buffet she's... a few years ago, and they gave me the kids thing. Okay. And I died laughing. I was like, did she really think I was a kid? I was like, listen, I'm not saying you nothing. You take that all day. A hundred percent. You take that until you can't. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Twelve dollars compared to twenty four? Uh yeah. Ship it. And guess what? All you can eat, I can eat a lot. <laughs> so Um it, come November we're gonna have uh, Jimmy Faya on November fifteenth and sixteenth. He is hilarious. Uh he'll be here at the paddock. And also in December we will have a Elver Elvis tribute. As always. Always sold out. Every year. Every year. A lot of fun. How about our Moneymaker series coming back again, May 2nd through the 14th. Over 500000 in prize pool guarantees, y'all. The bounty tournament alone is sick. The guy who won it won, like, I think 30000 plus, plus another 20000 in bounties. So the way our sick. mystery bounty prizes work for the Moneymaker Tour is we just have a box with Wait, a lot of envelopes inside. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> Cash, baby. Lots of cash. Cash money. Not a severed head. <laughs> no. That's, you know, Seven, the movie Brad Pitt with What's in the Box. Anyway, I just ruined it for all of our viewers. You did. I did. Anyways. Um, <laughs> but come on down. Uh, Moneymaker Tour is going to be the first couple weeks in May, and um, Moneymaker will be here. And, you know, Joey Dolan's our tournament director, always puts on a great show with Tony Burns, the tar tournament director for, um, for the Moneymaker Tour. And... Uh, like Steph said, over 500000 in prizes. Six, 28 trophies at least. Mm -hmm. Again, we're going to be live streaming the featured and definitely final tables here. So don't miss a thing. If you guys aren't already, please like, follow, and subscribe here with us on Twitch and YouTube. Also, cash games are coming soon on Tuesdays as well. That's a thing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're going to have some cash action back here again. Two, five, maybe one, two. Maybe some high limit gains. We'll see. I like it. Yeah, you I like it all. think they'll let me play? Can Damn, imagine, I want to play. Um, yes, that was Big Rob chipping up, and we do have the mixed game tournaments with the Moneymaker Series. I know we have a horse tournament and a PLO one for sure. Correct, we have a couple of PLO tournaments in the Moneymaker mm -hmm. Tour. I think one's a high-low, one's a regular PLO, and like Steph said, we have a horse event too, which is a, a mixed tournament. So um, lots of action, big prize pools. Um, we have some of the best players in South Florida and, and around the country too. They they like to come down they here fly too. In. So. Yeah, we're conveniently across the street from the PBI, Palm Beach International Airport. Facts, big facts. Literally a one or two minute Uber drive. I mean, you could walk here, but I suggest you don't. People are sus driving here. Yeah. Mm. But we do have a closet for you if you have your luggage. That yeah, will be safe. Yeah, we'll, don't store, worry. we'll store all your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> You have to win that, Michael, and then let us know, and then obviously get a shout out in here, maybe like a interview with the winners. I'm putting oh, that out there. Of, speaking of interviews, we Mince. have uh, yeah, we're gonna have our Mincy or charity tournament or barstoolies, yeah, right. barstool guys. That's gonna be huge. <laughs> Michael, if your head's up with Gene, you don't stand a chance, bud. I'm sorry, it's just he looks. He just said he's gonna beg for a child. I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's, he's he's already in the right frame of mind. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, listen, Gene, all respect. Let's chop it up. You know, he'll be like, I. Dude. Be like, you could just take first, buddy. Like, I don't even want, I don't even want the smoke. 
Gene's, Gene's just an assassin boy. Just chopping up with the legend? I mean, are you kidding me? I, I love watching this guy play. This guy. <laughs> For those of you that are watching right now, that's Gene in the, the gray moneymaker sweater yeah. um, in the five seat. And Gene... Gene's just a legend, man. He's over 100 years old. He's been playing. He's been playing poker basically his whole life. Since and he was like he's two. He's as sharp as a tech. You know, he is just. It's impressive. It it really is. He's here more than I am. That if saying? that's possible, you're always here. That's true. Working your ass I just off. make appearances. Smashing. <laughs> Jeez, this guy. Impressive. She's like, just run it, bro. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't got time for this. Jeans flops a pair of queens. Mike has an ace with a seven kicker. Bruce has literally nothing. Nothing. Bruce has a backdoor flush draw. And that is it. I mean, are we? I know, dude. I love his shirt. I'm going to tell him. I told him, I'm like, get on. He's part of my family plan now on the Switch. So I go, listen, no excuses now. I can beat your ass online. Oh, you said that to Mike? Absolutely. Oh, that's funny. I was like, come at me, bro. He, listen, you don't want this smoke. I promise you Bro, that. I will bring it on Saturday when I'm streaming. I think, are we streaming again? Or is that the other Terry? That's the other Terry. Aw. It's okay. Trust we'll me. come by the box. I will break your spirit. And I don't want to I will do live that. stream and be like, look who just won, guys. I will do it while I'm commentating. That's how good I am. You don't stand a chance. But I love his shirt, though. It is dope. I have some Mario shirts myself. Let's see if the Fox puts in a pot size better if he just wants to call. Let's see a flop. Cheap, cheap flop. Also, guys, playing the Moneymaker series or just being here during there, you get some nice Moneymaker swag. <laughs> it's true. Nice and comfy. It's, it is comfy. It's actually pretty well priced, I too. I know. I have a sweater. I have a um, I have a hoodie, uh, but it's the thin material. Me too, the black one. Yeah, the black one. Nice. Yeah, Where poker slick. rooms? Bit. I got a money maker hat. I got two money maker hats. Bro, I'm, I rep money maker more than he does. <laughs> I am uh, a sharpshooter. Oh man, I bet the fox wished that he had put in a raise now. Flops top pair with a nut flush draw. Joaquin's gonna put in the bet with top pair and a gutter ball. Oh, <laughs> I'm just going to pot all in. All right, Jeff. Say it like so confident. What a guy. Flush draw here. He has an ace. Two, well, actually, two pair. Aces and sevens. Excuse me. Gene's like, don't want that smoke. Neither does Tim. Oh, I can see Joaquin calling this. Yep. I am shocked Joaquin calling this. I'm not. I'm actually shocked. There's no, there's no word where he's Listen, ever he hit likes here. the action. I mean, he knows he could hit a better two We're pair if, if Jeff does have aces and tens. But wow, there's the nuts for Joaquin. Oh my God, this is why. Wow, rough. I'm yeah. Oh man, Jeff is so mad right now. He is not happy. No. This is why he calls. I know it's sick. Oof. I mean, he, he's also assuming that both his queen or jack Oof. would be good if he hits one of them, because then he would have a higher two pair than Jeff. Yeah, I'm telling you, he likes to play. <coughs> I, I felt that coming. Yeah, tough. So he's going to finish it for sixth place. Now you got top five here. Joaquin now 30% of the chips in play with 169. Mike C with 16 big blinds at 136. Gene with 15 big blinds, 128. Bruce with 10 big blinds, 87,000. And Tim, six blinds, 51,000. And I... Like you said, I'm all going to give him a 20. So 20 for the bullet? No, not if we just give him cash. The cash money? You don't get your money back. That's a dub in my book. I mean, I don't know if you get your money back. You get Well, if it's one bullet. You get you get 80% of your money back. That's true. If you're, if you're counting the 20 bucks. That's just me being picky. <laughs> it's better than nothing. I'll take it. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. So top four are going to get paid here, Michael. <laughs> Obviously, the bubble's going to get paid as well, so AK technically top five. But top four, first place is 1,197, second place is 798, third place is 399, and fourth place is 266. And obviously, $100 for the bubble boy. Obviously. Offs. Or if you want to be technical, Andy. What was the last word I didn't hear? If you want to be technical. What, what was the word after that? 
80. 80. Gotcha. And oh, you're, like oh you're making fun of me. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Ooh, usually Understood. things go over my head. Well, I mean, I, I couldn't understand the word you were saying because you, you warped my voice. Yeah. So I do that. Yeah, I say the same thing. Pay him a little salt and sun. See, he knows I'm a sharpshooter. How does he know? He just knows. He watches the street. Everybody street? knows. Pew, pew, pew. So oh, Joaquin I came with my deuces. Flops the ace. Nobody else has a nine, so. Bruce got sixes. Tim has a jack now. Joaquin was playing with a little bit of fire there by checking the whole time. All right. Well done. No, no. I know. I'm sorry. Way too early for that. I can't help it. Gene for it. Ace, King, chase. seven, six. Interesting. <laughs> Dave Portno's dog. Is it smart? Tell us, Mike. Is what smart? Is it oh, to smart give a to give a walk? I set a trap and you got it. <laughs> yeah, Mike was like upset and he was like, oh, Miss Peaches. I love how he says it like that. <laughs> Listen, if you're a grown ass man and don't do a baby voice with your dog, I don't trust you. I do it sometimes. With my little guy. See? My little wiener dog. Yeah, you can't. Like, so how can you not do it? He's so cute, little boy. Hey King, hey King, hey. Peaches, peach, 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 peaches, 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 peaches. I love you. I love you, peaches. Peaches, peaches. Jack Black, my guy. The best. Can't wait for the second one. It's gonna be good. We got a couple of playable hands here. Hold on, fam. Welcome back, sir. They're paying the bubble. Uh, See, look, 100. Mike, Mike I, I am a, I am a little. He has to I'm really emphasize it. You have to oh, emphasize I, it more. Listen, though. if they weren't playing right next door, I would give you my full. Oh my Jack god, Black. me too. I wanted to. I would so give bad. it to you. I'd give it to you, but they're right they, next door. They'd be like, "Shut up." Thanks, Pitt. Appreciate you. <laughs> so, um, again, though, they're paying the bubble. Hundred dollars, so he's getting his money back. Yep. Uh, first place is one thousand one hundred ninety-seven. Second place is seven ninety-eight. Third place is three ninety-nine, and fourth place is two sixty-six. Top four are gonna get paid. Top five now. Bruce unofficial. Officially. Bruce went ahead and hit the second nuts here. He's got a straight to the nine. Joaquin only has eights, so he's probably not gonna be paying anybody off. Oh, just kidding. Looks like he is gonna this pay is him just off. Cause. Oh no, he's got queens. Sorry, he's got queens still though. Bruce is never betting less than a, less than sure a, eight. a straight or a set. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Joaquin's just burn, burning money on the payoff. That man, his money. <laughs> that was not good. It wasn't. You got to try harder. I will. Pay that man his money. No. No, it wasn't good either? I feel like mine was better. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> I gotta do a good cartment. Hey, give me the game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's not bad. Yeah, no. That's really okay, okay. I got range. <laughs> <laughs> My friend does a spot on Trump. It's hilarious. Every time we game together, he just does it. I'm like, please just keep doing the lobbies. It's <laughs> so amazing.
Uh, Mike has done that a lot. He's, Mike has often like reached for chips, like he's gonna call or do something, and, and he, he, goes, just, mm, he just mucks like yeah. like an upset muck, you know. A fake Hollywood pump fake. Brian, our cutoff time's five o'clock. All right, make it happen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Easy doves. No. Toasty. Uh, yeah. I feel like a panini. A panini? <laughs> Not in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> What's a good way of feeling like a panini? Pause. The taste in your mouth. You gotta fix that screen. I know. It's for free. I'm gonna go after this, actually. it's I have a warranty on it, but look at it. <laughs> Oh, it's just the t Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's f it's just the cover, but it's oh, free. Okay. I, I got to replace it. It's been a a minute. Like doesn't work half the time when I touch it. <laughs> oh, see? Gross. Yeah, don't hurt, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So four ways to the flop. Pop pop pop. So Gene's going to oh, flop a set. Look at that. T look at Tim's Gene. got top pair and a gutter ball. Bruce has the nuts with the straight flush redraw. You just got to check it, too. Jeez. I mean, he doesn't have the nuts. There's four players in the hand. Bruce is just going to pot that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> pot that bitch. Uh, Gene's like, I'm calling. Gene's like, I guess I call. I mean, Bruce with a f straight flush draw. So Gene, Gene has the Queen of Hearts, it. which takes half of the straight flush draw out away, but Bruce does have... He could do the bottom half. He does have also a flush draw. That's not That's it. That's still pretty good for Bruce. He's going to say all in. Gene probably knows exactly where he's at here, but he does have outs, some full house outs. He's only got 20% equity, but Gene's just going to go ahead and call. That's a call. Yeah, he sure does have a set. There you go, Brian. Frame that board. And Bruce. You're crushing the game, bro. Bruce is. Who gonna taught you how to frame those cards like that? Double up. <laughs> <laughs> he listens. What a guy. This guy. This guy. This guy we. This guy right here. <laughs> You really did, and, and we appreciate you for it. Gene's going to kick your ass, though, for not pairing that board. Yeah, <laughs> you probably don't like you right now. Actually, he, he has people to do that kind of work for him. <laughs> oh, he definitely does. Uh-huh. A hundred percent. What is Gene? Like his nationality. I don't even know. Oh, there it is. With the tens. Aw, he's like, I got fans. What's up, fam? Look at the rail for me. Gangster is his nationality. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the thug life glasses mean? Where it's like. <laughs> is Gene Sicilian? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking that, like Italian. Ooh, not a bad flop for Gene. Pick sure up a flush draw. Hey, I like that one, buddy. There it is. Gene's going to take this one down. Gene's going to triple up. Wow. Look at this guy. What a guy. Look at that. He's like, my tens look good, but I'll take the flush instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, tens were good, buddy. I had queens, and then Bruce had an ace. Bruce, uh, Gene needed that flush. Take it down now, Gene. <laughs> 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 mm. 
the whole rail is rooting for him. He's Jewish. That's that's kind of what I figured. I don't know if that's a nationality though. I mean, it's a religion. I mean, I was just singing the song "Losing My Religion" of Rem. Sorry. Oh, okay. Did you say Rem? Yeah. You didn't say Rem. R E M. Thank you. <laughs> Michael Stipe would not appreciate the. Uh, it's still a good song. In the spotlight, losing my religion. No, that's me in the corner. Trying to keep. <laughs> See? <laughs> Josh gets it. That's exactly what Sue said. It. Listen, guys. I don't I don't need this. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it from the Mincy crowd. <laughs> Dude, they were great. Can't wait to see them again. This one goes out to one I love. This one goes out to one I love. That's a whole different breed. I have Rambo, no connected cuts. King, King, Spy. But almost doesn't count. Almost counts sometimes. Mm, does it? Yeah, sometimes. No. I'd rather hold on to it right now. Blinds are up to 4,000, 8,000, so we're getting pretty high up there. <gasps> you said the same thing. It's true. No. Okay. <laughs> but you knew what I meant. Like, that's literally exactly what I meant. The horseshoes and the hand grenades. Look, man, my man Gene, he's like, I ain't got time for this Badugi Ace King. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> he's like, give me some premium hands so I can knock out more people, bro, for bro. For real. Oh, that's just Bruce flopping the nuts. No big deal. The nuts. Mike's going to come out and pretend like he has the nuts, and Bruce is going to say, let me show you what the nuts really look like. You want to <laughs> see something? Yeah, I don't have to put it out. He's like, look, I'm going to show Bruce, you, Mike. You don't have, Bruce, you don't have to show it. But he's, he's going to show it because he's a guy. He, but you don't have he's to. He's that guy. He, he, we know. Buddy. Bruce, we know. Pause. How often is Bruce, Bruce bluffing there? Never. Zero. This many. Peaches, 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 I love you, I home, peaches, peaches. There you go, you gotta emphasize it. Peaches. You just sound like a dying cat. <laughs> Whoa, easy there. Looks like Tim's on the short stack here. Uh, he's going to be going through 12K in blinds this next round, so I wouldn't be surprised if he chose this hand to the next one to get it in. Joaquin's got Badoogie aces. Tim says, I don't think so. Joaquin says, pot that bitch. <laughs> Bowser's less talented cousin? Ouch. Ouch. Pit. Ouch, man. <laughs> Ouch, man. <laughs> Hurts bad. 22. <laughs> I did have a dream, and you just you just squashed it, bud.
<laughs> bro, bro, Josh. Did I not? What Josh is it? That's my boy Josh. We game. Oh, okay. I literally Josh, know, didn't Josh, I? She, she said she said the same thing. She she muted her mic and literally said the same thing you just said. I swear to God, you and got, then I look over and I die laughing. You guys are definitely friends. <laughs> 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 and he was being nice, and I was like, <laughs> whoa. You're, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong. So, a little bit, like, quiet here right now. The action's, uh... Kind of stalled for a second. A few you, hands. You want me to sing again? <laughs> I mean, I don't mind it, but they might not. Blinds are up. 5,000, 10,000. You sound so excited. I'm just stating a fact, I guess. All right. State those facts. Blinds man. are up. 5,000, 10,000. Yeah! How's that? Did you used to say like that when you were dealing? All Never. Enthusiastic? Not ever. You're like, yeah, whatever. What the floor said. Quan's up. Queens? That's all you want? Yeah, I'll throw you a couple if I get Okay. <laughs> all right, 10,000 to play. I can't give him too much sorrow. If you got one, I'll take one. How do you guys deal with your hair down? It's so hot. Dude, I know. I can't. I can't do it. I have to. I have my hair so nice and cute right now, right? And then as soon as it gets hot, and I'm like, I'm dying. Yeah. It adds like a sort of guy, like another like 10 more degrees. Like I'm watching Debbie right now. There's no way. There's hey, no I'd way. have longer and thicker hair, dude. It's yeah. terrible. I don't know if it's thicker than Debbie's hair. Look at that. <laughs> Maybe. That, that girl's got some thick hair. You're pretty thick, too. Yeah. I don't know. That's why I have to put it up when I deal. I'm like, I can't breathe. I have to. I tried. I tried dealing one time with my hair down. It's brutal. I'm like, nope. Yeah. And this hair needs to be let free. I mean, people need to like. That's what I'm saying. How yeah. do you not leave it down? But then it gets too hot. I know. That's and then it's like, damn it. Sixty-four there. God, it sounds like a paradise. Cruising down the street in Mount Six. Pitt, are you in in Pittsburgh or are you somewhere else? Cause sixty four in gray sounds a lot better than eighty five in gray. No, stop! <laughs> it's not eighty five. It's probably close. Stop the cap. It's nice out. Listen. No, now I'm checking. Yeah, he is this. in Pittsburgh. I know he is. Easy. Stop yelling at me, bro. Oh, you're right. It is 88, but it's windy, so it feels. Oh, oh. you know on. what? Listen, hold on. Listen, my reads are usually spot Excuse on. Excuse me. Okay, I, it doesn't matter if it's about the weather. You're it doesn't not. matter if it's about cards. It doesn't matter if we're talking about sports. My read is on. Okay. Ryan, let her know. See. Stop it, <laughs> Brian. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> but it's windy out, so it feels really nice. No, it doesn't. It Actually, feels, look at it's the rest of the week. Hell. Oh, it's gonna be in the 50s on Saturday. 58. Here? Yeah. Look. Really? Look, sixties all day, right night. That's nice. Yeah. Lies. Oh, in the daytime, I'm inside with the AC, no doubt. Lies. But at night, she going I'll, outside. I'll believe it when I feel it. Bro, it's been nice like all week. What are you talking about? Don't bro me if you don't know me, okay? <sighs> all right, back to poker. We got Tim <laughs> flopping two pair on a Badugi flop, but he's gonna check it for some reason, and he's gonna open himself up to. Mike bet, and Mike picks up a flush draw, and he already has a straight draw. Now he's picked up a pair. Tim's probably just going to call. Bruce picks up the same flush draw, and the nine is a non-factor. Wow, they got Tim to fold aces up? I don't know if I like that play by Tim on the short stack, folding two pair. I'm surprised. That is... What are you, what are you waiting for, bud? Pitt's my friend now. <laughs> sounds like it. <laughs> sounds like he's on your side. He is. He's on Team Terry. <laughs> Team Terry. <laughs> oh, it's going to be hotter in May, bro. I'm not going outside. Yeah, no kidding. Unless at nighttime. I'm going to I'm wear like a air conditioning suit to work. Bro. We had to get one for real. This is going to be brutal. You know those inflatable Halloween costumes that have the fa the built-in fans? I will wear that shit to work. Just I to will like not wear that while dealing. And be like, I will pass out <laughs> if I'm not wearing this. And then, like, if they won't let me, I'll be like, ah! <laughs> a pretty good video, actually. Let's see if... 
still on here. Good thing all the places I like to be at are with AC and inside. <laughs> no, the beach at night, though, even when it's hot, it's not bad because the waves make it, like, windy and stuff, you know? It's nice. All right. Nice flop for Mike. Why? Why not? Is it a flush draw? Yeah. Okay. You got the... Oh, there it is. Bing. Yeah. There it is. Mike, Ooh. flush it again. Let Bruce... Let, let Bruce... No, you got to let Bruce bluff at it. He made it cheap enough. Bruce no, he like didn't. Bruce didn't have shit. You got to let Bruce bet. He's got 10 high. He's been checking well, the Well, he's showing time. it. It's a friendly game, bro, bro. There's no such thing as friendly poker. Yeah. Bluke, how you doing, buddy? Betty, what did she finish on Sunday? I want to say she finished. I don't know, actually. Was she final table? I can't remember. I don't recall. <laughs> you finished 20th? Made that money. Trying to get me kicked out of this thing. <laughs> Or he makes it 25 or 30. <laughs> I have to call. Wait till you see this. Uh, the video here. The video. Not him? Wait. They would let it. I'll allow it. You know, a lot of people, uh, they play relatively timid in PLO, and especially when you're getting down to five players, you need to be a little more aggressive and try to start stealing pots because, you know, you're not going to have the nuts every time, and you're not going to have good hands every time, and people are so scared of other people's hands, you really need to start taking advantage of that and, and putting in some bets and taking down pots, especially when the blinds are getting so big. <laughs> Damn, Luke. Brutal. What was the Sunday tourney? It was the final. You talking about the multi-flight? Yeah, the, multi the multi-flight, oh, okay. yeah. You were commentating, I commentating with it. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, you yeah, were with me. Did, but Betty didn't make final table, I don't No, think. but we did see her. Oh, okay. I don't think she did. If she was, I think she was ninth, but I'm, she might have. Act, I, you no, know she I didn't can't make, remember. She didn't make final. 100% she didn't make final. So Robbie made final. Maurice made final. Craig Craig, got second. Second. First place was Adele. Yeah. She did not know. Okay, so. But she definitely cashed. Obviously, everyone who came back made money. Yes. Yes. That is correct. Oh, some people might not know that. That is correct. So Tim's Tim gonna make his stand here with uh, a couple of pairs, and he's gonna have to hit one of them or a straight because Joaquin's waking up with Jack's double suited. So Tim's gonna need a straight or a four or an eight, or his tournament's done here. All right, here we go. And here we here. go. But I well, that's halfway. He needs a five now. Oh, my goodness. Stop it. This, this, this Get out. Gross. Get what out. A gross game. Get done. <laughs> it's <was> pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you called that. Clip it. Did I Did I will that into existence? I'm clipping it for you, Josh. Clip that. Brian would have never let that happen. Oh, no, never. Straight. Well, give it to him anyway. Here, hold on. <laughs> my dog said, wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I like Pitt. He might be too cool to be your friend. I have a lot of cool friends. Do you? I know. I'm one of them. I know. <laughs> Who else are you guys going to pick on? I mean, you're the only one here. Brian's too far. <laughs> I mean. Just like that. Wow. It's crazy. The math is mathing. And actually, um, Joaquin had a blocker to the straight, too. He had one of the sevens. I know, it's so, so sick. He's down to three sevens. This game is sick, bruh. Yeah, 
It's like, thank you, Mike. We didn't know that already. Come on, Gene. <laughs> put in the put in the pot bed right here. Do it. Pot it. No, don't call pot. Pot, Gene. Pot it. He's not going to pot, pot it. Gene, pot it. Gene, pot it. Do you know how scared these guys would be of Gene pot? <laughs> They would be like, Gene, you have aces and kings double suited. <laughs> oh, now you're going to let all these garbage hands in there. Trash. I don't like it, Gene. You know, you're going to let one of them hit a queen. So it looks That's like how you really feel. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's going to have a straight draw and a flush draw. Gene has top pair, top kicker. Wow, Joaquin's betting. Oh, he's got two pair with a straight draw as well. Joaquin has bottom two with Joaquin. a straight draw. Joaquin. Is Tim probably going to fold this. He does have relatively high flush draw and a straight draw. He does, he does. But this is where the, the aggression comes into play. Correct. Yeah. And uh, Gene's like, yeah, on the next, not feeling it. I, I got a feeling Tim's going to feel the same way because he doesn't know where he's at with his flush draw. And he's obviously, if he hits a 10, it's going to be the nuts. Well, I think Tim's like, give me a second here, bro. Yeah. I've really got to think this through. Tim's going to have to put in half his stack here, I think. Oh, just a call. Wow. So Tim's Look only going to have about 20,000 behind. And Gene's going to wish that he had called now. Yeah, he sure did. Gene's like, shit. <laughs> it's exactly what he just said. At least he didn't say it out loud like most players would. It's like, bro, stop it. She actually, he actually has kings and queens with a nine kicker, but that's okay. I'm just, I'm just, I want everybody to, to, that's watching to understand that. Thank you, That Terry. he actually no, doesn't yeah, have for queens sure. and nines. He has kings and queens with the nine Let kicker. Him, yeah. That's what we're here for. Hey. Not only entertainment, it's educational as well. I would like to think some people are learning something. Yeah. Hey, listen, if you're not learning something new every day, you're not doing it right. Agreed. Or yeah. you're just passed out from being drunk the night before. You not me, I'm just saying But you still people. learn not to do it again. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. You try, you try to learn it. Hey, guess who's going to Chipotle for dinner tonight? Oh, this guy. <laughs> that gift card, though. Damn, Chipotle sounds good now. Yeah, it never sounds good until you think about it. So you think about the bowl, until and you're you think there. About the cheese melting, yeah. and then you got all the onions Smash. and the peppers, and, and then the guac on the side. It's that. extra. I was like, no. bitch, I know. Just put it. <laughs> stop it. Do people really complain about it still? And if you're still complaining, stop going. <laughs> don't don't get upset. Enough. Don't get upset. Don't get upset. But, am I but you're right. But thank don't you. Get upset. I don't usually get upset. am right. You're right. You are right, though. <laughs> so no. Stop reminding me it's extra. I know it is. I don't want to pay it, but I know I have to. Gosh, freaking idiot. God. It's like bole. Give me my tops. <laughs> like, oh, the guac's give me, extra. Give me my guac. <laughs> give me my guac. Jeez. So Mike just picked up a pretty, pretty good card on the turn. Tim does have top two. Tim has... Kings and nines, but he folded? That doesn't sound right. Aru? Doesn't sound right at all, actually. <laughs> Joaquin's going to call with an open ender. And does not bink it. And assuming the cards were read correctly, Mike just folded kings full of nines, which is the nuts. God, Tina. Give me my guac. <laughs> Where's my guac, Tina? <laughs> You fat lard. <laughs> <laughs> Tina's a llama for all of you. Yeah, uh, calm down. <laughs> Eat the food. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm done. Good job, Mike. Take that pot down. And you are correct, Josh. I always tell people, do better. Or and they're like, or be better. You could always do better. Always. Yeah. It's so funny when Joaquin's trying to explain something and then, like he just stops mid sentence. <laughs> He's just like, uh, I'm done. I'm done explaining my logic. All right. <laughs> Did you notice that too? I think, I think he I realizes either no one's listening or. <laughs> or he can't give away his secrets. Right, 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 right. right. He's, he realizes. He's like, wait, what am I doing helping these guys? too much. <laughs> yeah. I do that too when I kill people in video games. 
I'm better. <laughs> You're I'm trash. Just yeah. Better than I'm you. I'm better. I'm better. <laughs> You're trash. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Excuse me, Jean. Just like you, we got. You need to help me. And there you go. Tim's all in here with the pocket kings with the queen seven. Joaquin calls with a mystery hand. Mikey's thinking about it with his fives, but he's like, nah, psych, I'm out. Bruce has an interesting double suited low cards. I like the call um, here on his party. Bruce, Bruce is the call. Bruce is the chip, chip leader, too, so that's an easy call, I think, in this yeah, spot. Yeah, I would call that, too. It's not saying much, but. But you would be right to do so in this case. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. So Tim all in for this main pot, which, um, mm, not a bad up a pot. flush draw. Not the good flush draw. Oh, wow, Bruce just hit the fucking, ooh. I mean, he just hit a um, good card. Oh, wow. Um, Tim's got quads. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he liked that, buddy. You know, he cannot lose. Your boat is no good, sir. Wow, what a... What a Sick. river. Unbelievable. On the river. Rolling. Suck out. Yeah. Meet re-suck yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that? No. <laughs> you know, Dave Chappelle? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, where he was doing the yeah. congressman or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pause. I'm having way too much fun over here. Hey, this is what it's all about, right? Entertainment and education. <laughs> Man, if I was on this table and I won a hand, I would do that. I'd get up and be like, yeah! Or, yeah, yeah! Yeah, the guy running for president. And back to reality, just like he said. And hand number 77, heel. Oh, it goes gravity. Yeah, uh, Tim running hot now again. He's like, I had kings and queens and double suit. And I was like, we know, bro, you hot. <laughs> hot. It's like, good job, buddy. You know? You ever wear that while you're dealing? The hat? Oh, that'd be straight gangster. I wouldn't be mad. But I feel like if you wore it backwards, no one would know or say anything. I feel like you should try it. But then I just gave away your secret, so. You are pushing it. But push it real good. I'm old too, Josh. We're all together, buddy. Um, we're like the same age, bros. You're like ten years younger than us. Not really. How old are you're you? Gonna be thirty-five this year. Oh my god! I you know. you only look like you're like twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Oh god, thank you you so look great. Much. No, seriously, you thank look great. You. Being short helps. It does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> No. I mean, you you didn't they didn't card you for your breakfast, right? For your well, that was a few years ago. But like, yeah, when I go to Biloxi or some places, other casinos that they don't know me, and they're like, I used to get mad with the ID, but now I'm like, you love it. Sometimes when they don't ask, I'm like, you sure they did just ask me? I was like, no. if I'm if I'm buying no? an alcoholic okay. beverage, I never get carded anymore, and I'm like, that's how I know I I I've, I've reached <laughs> I, that plateau. He's like, you reached the threshold. But if I didn't have a beard and if I had my haircut, I'm I'm actually baby faced under here. Oh, yeah, I feel yeah. like a lot of you guys are, yeah. for sure. No, it's no like doubt. a makeup. Ooh, my guy Gene hitting a set on the flop. Let's go. So sick. Gene's letting him know I hit it, too. Let him know. Tim doesn't have really any cards to call with here. Just a pair of tens. Can't even beat the queen on board, so probably just going to fold here. Fold it? Fold it and not hold it. You going to start singing the song now? I was waiting for it. What do you mean, you guys? <laughs> uh, 
That was my ringtone for a long time. Was it? Yeah. And I had the, even the phone case. Really? Yeah. I had the, um, not the ringtone, but, you know, every time he would hit a question mark block, <gasps> that was my text Ba-ding! message sound. Yeah, like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. The coin. <laughs> Mine was the halo thing when you, like, got the health. It's like, <laughs> oh, like stop dope. it. No, no, that's not. You want to know the sound? Fuck you. <laughs> That's what we used to do that sound all the time. We used to have like land parties at my house. We would oh bring it like four land eggs. parties. So listen, so she don't know what a land party is. She's too young for you, bro. Who that? Just saying. Oh, oh, she don't. <laughs> she, yeah. the quote unquote yeah. she. <laughs> she too young for you, bro. She don't know what a land party is. We would bring four Xboxes over to the pad. Yes. We would have all sixteen. We had enough guys <laughs> chilling in the pad. Oh, Everyone brought their own controllers. Yeah. High school for you, college for me. Whatever. Yeah. Close enough. Dude, those, Still fun. Those were the days. Those were the days. Those were, and I remember once land parties went to like online parties, it was that was like the future. It was so cool. I'm like, wait a second, I don't have to leave my house. Nobody has to come over. I can play yeah. games in my underwear. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no. I love how you censor yourself there. <laughs> I usually don't, but I've already. I think I've used my allotment of f words today. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. You and I both, buddy. It adds flavor. Sometimes. Sometimes. Ooh. Look at that flaw for Joaquin. Gene still has an over pair, but Joaquin's got uh, over cards and an open-ended straight draw. But, but Gene Jean's has two like, of those outs. What's up, bro? Gene's like, I don't care, bro. Like, you want you, some of this? He's like, who do you think I am? Oh. Ooh, just do it, Gene. Gene, well, just do Joaquin's it. Joaquin's like, Jean, all right, bet. Yeah, Gene says, I don't give a shit. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you, you saw him say it, right? Yeah. Gene said, I don't give a we shit. We all heard it. She said, I don't care about you. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what's up, bro? Gene said, I've been doing this before, before you, you was even born. a thought in the world. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, he's got clubs in that, too. Oh, wow. Gene runs so good. Yeah, but he got a straight. Hello. Yeah, Gene's got the nuts. That's what I'm saying. Bro, he runs so good. I know. Who runs better than you, Gene? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. Aggressive by Gene. B E aggressive. I still remember that joke. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you see the flop, you're not going anywhere. No, but. B B aggressive. Right. Actually, you lose. You guys lose. You lose. You're wrong. Overruled. Yeah, Josh, uh, Gene's not the kind of guy that runs from his problems. He faces them and shoves them in with two hands. Yeah. That's how he handles his business. He's like, you seeing this or nah? Because <laughs> times are wasting. <laughs> I wonder if it was played differently. Instead of Joaquin check shoving, I wonder if he bets first if Gene folds. But even then, Gene still has an over pair. I, I think. That, I don't that think Gene was going anywhere. I don't think so either. No. It's a pretty good flop for nines without hitting a set. Ain't happening, buddy. I know. It's just I'm accept not your, the I'm fate. not your buddy, friend. <laughs> I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm not your guy, pal. I'm not your pal, dude. <laughs> Are we still five-handed or am I in the Twilight Zone? What's no, we're still five-handed, bro. They, they want that money. Gene is like Chuck Norris. That's really good. All right. You guys, you guys want to do some... Chuck Norris jokes. <laughs> oh man, so many. Seeing Are you gonna look them up? Seeing how no, well no. So I'm on the Chive, right? You ever watch the Chive? No. Chive's amazing. It's just basically just, you know. The is that what they play about Duffy's? Yes. This so this is the okay. parent company. This I love is the that shit. Okay, I actually great. I was in on Chive TV before no, that were. was. I swear to you, I've been I've been on the Chive for over ten years, right? And they just started doing Chive TV, probably uh, six years ago, give or take. Is it like Twitch? Chive TV? No. Or you mean like the Chive? TikTok? No, 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 no. This is they just have like little subcategories about like, like all this stuff. Everything. It, it, but I just saw a Chuck Norris category like today, so that's the only reason I even wanted to bring it up. Yeah, look, Chuck Norris jokes are forever. 
When Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, he already had three missed calls from Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. Ch- Chuck Norris's keyboard doesn't have an escape key. There you go. There you go, Josh. <laughs> Ooh, Mike's got a playable hand here. So does Joaquin. So does Tim. Tim's going to be all in with his jacks here, and he's actually ahead at the moment, but everybody's got overs. He does have the best club draw. <laughs> Chuck Norris has a grizzly bear rug in his bedroom. It's not dead. It's just too scared to move. Amazing. You aren't even listening. I am listening. Repeat it. What did I just say? Shh, this hand. Exactly. <laughs> Chuck Norris doesn't sleep. He waits. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Mike just flopped a monster. He's got top pair and a flush draw. Tim's got outs. Tim's going to need a jack or a 10. How you like me now? Hey, love. Ooh, wow. I didn't even see Joaquin had it. Wow, Joaquin just folded the nut flush draw? That's gross. He just did. That's gross. That happened. So that's a huge hand for Mike. Like I said, Tim's going to need a jack or a 10. Wow. That ain't it. Uh-uh. There's oh. the 10. That's a strizz eight. You do have a straight 10. There you go. And the chips will be passed around again. Look, even Tim doesn't realize it. Did you know that death had a near Chuck Norris experience? <laughs> That's pretty good. You know, maybe we should drop jokes with, like, in-between hands. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, no, but it's smart. Like, maybe keep it a thing. When Chuck Norris turned 18, his parents asked permission from him to move out of his house. <laughs> I can't. You know, Jesus might walk on water, but Chuck Norris swims through land. <laughs> that was stupid, but but still funny. Because, I mean, you, you start to visualize Chuck Norris swimming. I know, that's swimming. why I laughed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck Norris can slam a revolving door. That's <laughs> stupid. That's stupid. This is the one that Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, and he's got a new one? Chuck Norris once walked down the street with an erection. There were no survivors. <laughs> Probably should have read that first before I said it. Huh? <laughs> Ooh, pot. It's all right. We're a, we're not a family-friendly friendly stream. This is a... Uh, it's a poker site. You got to be 18 years old to, to play poker. So <laughs> you got to be 18 years old to watch the stream. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Noah. <laughs> Sorry, know, that's all, Josh. You know, you know, you know. They laughed <laughs> when they heard that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's worse. <laughs> right. She heard him on the mic during the stream. 55 total. He's brutal. Ah, oh, Tim got a monster here. That's funny. Gene almost was going to play, and then he realized how much it was, and he was like, no, no. Dude, Gene, Gene is as sharp as a Chuck Norris. No, all right. Next one. Chuck Norris won an arm wrestling tournament with both arms tied behind his back. Oh, my God. I can't even say this one. So hand number 83 here. <laughs> I think we're going to go over 100 here, Terry. Uh, yeah. Blinds are 10,015.15. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I am too. Listen, Brian's in the box, and he's going to go Chuck Norris on these guys. They better watch out. Oh, hold them, fan. Bye. All right, bye. Welcome in, chatters. For those of you who are just joining us, we are five-handed in our $100 2K buy-in PLO tournament. We are paying out our top four players. Yes. Uh, first place is going to get 1,200. Second place is getting 800. Third place is getting 600. I'm sorry. Third place is getting 400. Fourth place is getting 266. And, of course, the bubble's getting paid $100. Yes, everyone threw down $20. Uh, so fifth place It's been will over be an hour since they made that deal. It's and been all. pretty close. It's been pretty close. Shit's been going back and forth, like Terry says. I mean, you know. These, these guys are... They're in it for the long haul. They're trying, though. They're putting their chips in. They're That's going it. all in. They're doing their best. They've been playing since 11.15 a.m. They're doing their best Chuck Norris impersonation. No one's dying. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It is so bad. We had a total of 38 entries. Prize pool is 2660. For those of you doing the math, the rest of the money goes to the house. <laughs> Look at you. What a guy. Well, you know. Did you know that Chuck Norris worked as a lumberjack in a forest named Sahara? Meh. Yeah. That was bad. Meh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, looks like we got a bunch of checking down. <laughs> Pair of fours are going to win. Tim's on a roll now. Tim was down to like 20K. <laughs> All right, that's nice. Tim owes Mike lunch, and Mike owes Joaquin lunch. I think that's what I heard, but it's... By the time we're going to be done here, it'll be dinner. Let's be real. Let's be honest. I'm starting to get a little hungry. <laughs> you got that Chipotle. I know, but I don't know if I'm going to make it. <laughs> we need to build a sushi stand here, in, here at the track. You know how much money a sushi place would make in here? Well, I'm putting out there, uh, put it for the new building. Are we getting a new building? <laughs> Eventually. Three to five years, a.k.a. pending. Believe but sushi is not a bad idea. Believe it when I see it. Yep. Mike is going to prey on Joaquin's weakness, and he's going to end pot this with pocket jacks. I can't really see Joaquin calling with just threes, and his ace is not suited. I mean, we said that before, and Homeboy did call, so I mean... Yeah, but this is not that situation, though. And besides, Mike is... Mike's played pretty well up until Solid this point. Solid poker. Yeah. They all have, but yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> he did it again, though. He started explaining, and then he stopped. He's like, I got pocket pair. Yep, yep, yep. Stops like mid sentence, mid thought. He just stops talking. He's like, and shut up. <laughs> Friendly game. Gene needs to break out the unfriendly. He's waiting. Look, he's looking back at the position. He's like, mm. just like how long have we been playing for? <laughs> Gene's like, I got places to be, guys. Yeah, downstairs at the three-card table to hit a bonus. <laughs> Does Gene like playing the three-card? Oh, yeah. He plays everything. No kidding. Yeah. I mean, I know he plays like 2-5 and stuff. Yeah, but I know he, he plays, plays three-card. He cards plays in the stuff. back, too. Yeah. He plays ultimate. I would love to watch that. Dude, he's so lucky. Is he? I hit him a f couple of times. It's insane. He walks away pretty I just like, you too. just flop quads like it was nothing, Gene. Like, it, like. Doesn't even crack a smile, does Yeah, he? I was like, bro. He's seen it all. Yeah. Uh-oh. We don't know what he has, but I'll, I tell you what, I'm not going out there to tell him to frame his cards. You're not? Nope. No. I let Gene get away with a lot. Because it's Gene. I, I mean, I don't know if he'd listen anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Gene, Gene is our own brand of Chuck Norris around here. He is. He does what he wants. You see the you see the respect he commands? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Brian reached over and started stacking the chips for him. That's how much respect he has. What's up, chatters? Let us know where you're uh, where you're watching from. I know most of you guys are probably from South Florida, but I know we got one guy from Pittsburgh, and probably got another guy from uh, I, I don't know. So tell us. <laughs> 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 right, exactly, Josh. Minimum ace, king, queen, queen. Minimum. Speaking of aces, there it is. Joaquin has it. I'm going around almost might, every other hand. He might get a call out of Mike here. Mike's got a very playable hand. But then again, I mean, if Joaquin has 75,000, 
Mike's going to have to put in almost three quarters of his stack. Uh, Gene went oh, all wow. in with Kings, of course. <laughs> he says that's so good. He goes, I got Kings. I'm going to crack your waist. You know what I imagine? I, I, I kind of like The way he said I it with such like confidence. I kind of like Gene's hand. He oh, knows. He said it with such confidence, bro, bro. Gene flops a pair and a straight draw. Now he hits oh the nuts, God. basically. He told him no good. He let him know. Yeah, he sure did. Come on, Bruce. Just like that, Joaquin is going to finish a fifth place for one hundo. The bubble. Jo Joaquin, he warned you, bro. He said ace is no good. Because it's on a 15-minute delay, everybody. Patty's on the rail watching the game. <laughs> on I thought I heard us. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, someone's watching us over there. <laughs> it's like a heroes. That's funny. Well, you probably heard us in the background of the game Both. 15 minutes ago. But no, it was actually someone watching on the phone. I don't think we heard that I did. audio. Okay, whatever you say. Thank you. You're welcome. <coughs> it is Gene's world. We just pay rent for the oxygen. Someone tell Gene to put his cards in the box. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell Rob to tell. Text him. He would. Let him know. Rob, Rob would. You know what Gene would do? Yo, that would be amazing. It would be more like. <laughs> or like the one where you wind it up like that. <laughs> the Jack in the Box bird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so popular back in the day. It was. Still a classic every once in a while. Yeah. What's in the box? <laughs> Not Gene's cards. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Nice. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Josh, you're a welcome addition to the crew, buddy. <laughs> He'll be here um, right after Moneymaker again. He played the last Moneymaker tour. He came down here and played. See, Could have missed him all in Pittsburgh gear, of course. Is he an IRL buddy or like a COD buddy? Both. You you knew him before? Yeah, before? on oh, video cool. games. But you knew him before co before video games, or you met him like online? Met him playing video games. Gotcha. Ten plus years ago, maybe like thirteen. Yeah. Pew 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 pew. He said. <coughs> I was from playing hockey though, NHL. He wasn't even a shooter. I used to play NHL '94 back in the day. Tell the Noah original. with Dietrich and Kimon, and they would call me Deeks. Deeks. Yeah, because like, you would triple them. I was like, ah, <laughs> yeah. Schmerz was pretty good. Best hockey movie of all time, go. Hockey movie of mm -hmm. all time? Were you going to say The Mighty Ducks? Mighty Ducks 2. <laughs> it's the one where they went to the Goodwill Games. It's classic. <laughs> Eastland versus USA. <laughs> <laughs> How'd I know? Ooh, wow. Mike's got a pretty good hand. He's got a pair and uh, open-ended. Tim can have any number of hands. Doesn't matter. Junior Goodwill Games. God, Josh, you are you are on it, buddy. I don't like being corrected, but when it's when it's uh, spot on. Yeah, when it's warranted. I Look, accept. He says miracle and slap shot. Oh, he also cashed it. Sorry, Josh. My dog I'm knows about Gunner Stall too. This guy. We're we're friends, Josh. We're we're bros now. <laughs> Aww. We're we're. Does she hang out when he's down here? Best we're, friends. Slap shot. I'm not gonna lie. I've I'm, never seen it. I, Don't I've be never, mad at me, guys. I've, I've heard slap shots amazing, but I'm not a hockey guy in general, so that's why well, I just Speaking said of hockey, Ducks. Panthers are hot, and I am a hockey girl. I don't know anything about it. I just know playoff hockey is fun to go watch. Do better. That's all I know. Stop talking. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Do we just become best friends? Yep. We, we need more room for activities. <laughs> so, Mike... Doing a nice little bet right there. Bruce has a flush draw and a straight draw. I wouldn't be surprised to see him come along. But I don't know if he's going to for that much, to be honest with you, Terry. All in. It's okay. Oh. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I know things. All in. You know more than I do, buddy. I, dr I drink and I know things. Well, maybe I should drink because I don't do that. Yeah, I Honestly, I don't think Mike's going anywhere either. He's like, can I get the button, please? Actually, you know what? Mike might actually fold this, but he just 
He's really thinking about it. Hold on. He's going to be like, well, if I call and lose this, how much do I got here? That's exactly what's happening. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> At least I'm right about that one. Thanks, buddy. I got, when my daughter was a baby, we, we had a, a jumper. We got a, a jumper that says, I drink milk and I know things. <laughs> Yeah, Mike's in a tough spot here. Yeah. Damn. He wants to call so bad. But is it like, is it worth it? What the hell does Bruce have? I gotta he, lay it he down. He also knows that. I, th I think, I have the yeah, it's a tough spot, though. I mean, Mike was ahead. Mike was about 60-40 yeah. there. So, I mean. It's not a terrible fold. No, and he, he obviously still has 100K to play with right now. So, you're right. It's not a bad fold. But, obviously, knowing the cards w would not have been a bad call either. But it's a lot easier when we can see the cards. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Sometimes. <laughs> I think he does, Josh. I think he does show every time. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, Bruce. Tim's going to go all in with his pocket queens here, with his badoogie pocket queens. The ladies. He might get this through. We can't see what Gene has, but Gene's showing him, and it doesn't look very good. Put a flop out, he says. Brian's like, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> yeah, like Jean. No rabbit hunting. Mike still It's like Mike up. looking for validation, and Brian is like, did I do the right thing? I folded his queen. But that's, I'm, I have I mean, that's blocker like the worst cards. Hand I'm doing. I have blocker. Well, that's the thing. I have cards that are bad for you to be on draw. <laughs> that's your logic, buddy. Oh, Mike's. But see, this is why you fold those hands, too, because then you pick up monsters like this. Yeah. And then you can just live to play another day. Pot that. Is it 70, 10, oh, blinds are up 10, 20, huh? Holy smokes. He's I was like, blinds are up. These blinds are up. 10, 20, 20. Pots are at 100K because of that raise. And Tim's showing my hand, dude, since he's like, sorry, Steph. It's going to be a gnaw for me. But it's a thought that counts, Tim. Preach. It's going to be a no for me, dog. It's going to be a gnaw for me. No shame in your game. Thank you, Brian. Medic, what's up, buddy? Just saw that was you that that typed in slap shot was the best hockey movie. We, we've only been talking to to Josh the whole <laughs> the whole no, stream. No, I, I so acknowledge him. Did you? Well, no, you did, but I just I didn't even notice that it was somebody else. That's I just, okay, buddy. I've just been paying attention. He's your new it's best only friend. been Josh the whole time. He is. He's my guy. You guys are kicking it. It's my guy. Medic, where are you chiming in from, bud? <laughs> he said it already. No, he didn't. <laughs> he did. Where's he from? Where's Medic from? New York. Where does it say that? I'll go up. I mean, I believe you if you said New York. From New York. Paramedic from New York here. Damn. God, you are paying attention. I'm not paying attention. I'm really good at multitasking. Enough. Thank you. I'm not. We know. All right. Nice to hear you're from New York. <laughs> I even said thank you for everything See, you look, do. See, look, Long Island, he knew I meant what what city, what part of New Bro. York. He knew I. He okay. Knew, yeah, he knew I. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Sounds like a spoil alert in 15 minutes. Oh, you play with some of our boys? Like cash games? Play with some of our uh, local pros? Oh. Okay, all right. I know those guys.
cash money. Some medic. Give a big shout out to our production crew, Barlington, Geo, Rob, all those guys that uh, work tirelessly in the back to make sure all the graphics are put up, make sure everything runs good, the cards are all read correctly. Kevin, the floor right now. Who? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Give a shout out to Kevin, too. Uh, you guys do a great job, and this stream is not possible without you guys. So we appreciate everything you guys do for us. Um, oh, they're up. They're coming up for the summer. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, it's too hot down here. Don't blame you. Yeah, it's 88 degrees outside. Well, in summertime, it's like feels like over 100. Yeah, T Dog, you are not wrong. I'm 100% uh -huh, shocked. Yeah. What's up? That's my boy, Terry. No, uh, that's my boy, Terry. He's Terry 2.0. Yeah, I know. That's my boy. Yeah. That's my namesake. We're going to be Saturday, Terry. Oh, my God. T Dog, I miss you. I haven't seen you on that Valorant in like a month or two. I look for you all the time. Oh, You got me on COD or Fortnite, though. Yeah, you're, you're all right. Yeah. <laughs> T Dog's gonna make a run this summer. He sure is. Listen, I don't, I'm not gonna give you too much credit, but I'm gonna give you just enough, okay? Because you didn't really make it happen, but you made it happen. You made it. You made it happen by not making it happen. <laughs> what a guy. Right? I mean, you know where I'm going with that, right? I think so. Maybe. I think so. All right. Lasted way too long, is what I'm saying. And they felt the same way. <laughs> Pause. What are you pausing? Did you pause me? Yeah. Oh, how come? I was just saying pause. Why? Bro, bro. Am I talking live right now or no? <laughs> yes. So then I'm not paused. <laughs> I can't with you. All in 14. Oh. You can't say pause and then have me actually not paused. <laughs> All right. Tim's got top two. I'm sorry. Bruce has top two. Tim has straight draw, flush draw, and does not bink anything. No bank. And the chips have been pushed around again. <laughs> Gene's getting a little restless. <laughs> a little bit, right? You saw that a little aggressive there. He's like, come on, guys. Gene he's is like, constantly Jesus. looking back at the clock. Gene is constantly being like. It's one of those he's like, are we there yet? <laughs> Without saying it. Uh huh. He's only 101. Yeah, he is, bro. He just wants the money. Gene's got cash games to play. He does. He's, He's tired. feeding. He's tired or of Or he needs to stuff. go home and sleep and come back tomorrow and play another tournament again. Uh-huh, uh -huh. That's exactly what it is. Yep. There you go. Yeah, why they can't stop in the middle? Gene's either got a cash game to go to, a tournament to play tonight, or a couple of hotties he's got to hit up. It's one or the other. All of the above. All of the above. <laughs> because he's OG the Gene. He is OG Gene. <laughs> Look at him, just staring at Brian. Straight he cold is, cold. bro. Look at his face, bro. He is me mugging Brian. Cold. Look at that. Oh, Jeez, my God. Jeez, you saw that look? I'm, That's I'm enough to get him. me out of the box, boy. You see that face? <laughs> Dude, Brian's sweating bullets now. He's angry, Brian. I'm saying Gene does whatever the hell he wants, Josh. He does. And that's that's big facts. Whatever he feels like it. Tim all in here with the flush on the river. Yeah, and with the check, check, check. Unless Gene's pulling a, uh, a Johnny Chan rounders move, he's going to fold. Big shout out to my guy Robert Ancelowitz making things run around here. Fwah, fwah, fwah. Oh, sorry. Fern, 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 fern. God, so much better. I don't I don't get the tone right. I don't get the amount of froms no. right. I just I got you, fam. All right. <laughs> yep, yep, no problem. You're good. We're all good. As Steph would say, we're Gucci. Oh my god, I was just about to say that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it read my mind. He's like right there. <laughs> What a guy. Yeah. 
So it looks like Tim has a gutter ball with a pair of eights, and Mike has what I like to call uh, the undiscovered country. We don't know. Okay. I was just making sure what that was. That's what that was. All right. And he's showing a flush. Fair enough. <laughs> These boys are getting restless. Look at Bruce. Even Bruce squinting and breathing heavily. You Jean, can just tell by watching. Jean's, yeah, Gene's about to elbow somebody in the face. <laughs> Throw a chip at Brian again. Mike wants to go play Mario Kart. I'm going to beat him in it later. Well, you better practice. I'm going to whoop on you whenever we practice. play. You hear? We talk about practice. Talk about practice. <laughs> practice. Gene's getting so pissed off, he's flipping his cards Yo. up. He's trying to. Did you say 70? Straight up folded that. <laughs> Face up, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's going to do that every time until someone gets knocked out or they chop. <laughs> he's trying to don't care. We need to, we need to have some complimentary oh. Snickers for all the players. Snickers ice cream. Gene is done giving any amounts of shits. Like, he is done. <laughs> He's like, rail me, bro, please. <laughs> Tim's all in with kings. Bruce calls with nines because he just wants to knock somebody out. Something tells me these kings are going to hold up. Just if we're basing on the what's odds been happening. and what's been happening exactly. Um, Jack Bull. Not that he needs it. He's got the king. Still good. Ooh. Picking. And the chips are passed around again, again, again. <laughs> Gene with his patented look back to the clock. <laughs> now he's looking worried. No, he's not. He's looking like he's going to hurt somebody. <laughs> well, you know what that means. You saw that, right? That's definitely a signal. Yeah. I don't know to who, but to somebody. <laughs> it means, like, finish it. He's talking to his, his, his bodyguards on the rail. <laughs> Whoever's on the rail, he's looking at him, he's like, finish it. Finish <laughs> it. Mortal Kombat. Get over here! Yeah. <laughs> really good. You didn't say the brother, though. Hmm? You didn't say brother. Why would I say brother? That's not Hulk Hogan. That's Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Oh, I thought you were doing Hulk Hogan. Uh, if I were to do Hulk Hogan, I'd say, uh, what would I say? You could have said that, exactly. Just add brother. <laughs> no, <laughs> Scorpion. <laughs> what you gonna do when Hulkamania runs wild on you, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Medic. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. He is a mean gene. He's mean gene. He's OG. Mean Gene Okerlund. I don't know if a Red Bull would be a good idea. I would ha I, I would be scared with Gene on a Red Bull. I don't even like Red Bull. I would get out of the way. <laughs> it's like Star Power and Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he would be invincible for like <laughs> 20 seconds, <laughs> and then he would crash. <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> Throw a shell. Can you imagine Gene blinking, <laughs> running all over everybody? <laughs> Mean Gene, oh yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Don't look so focused here, Mike, please. Do 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 do. I'm starting to get a little loopy over here myself. Do 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 do. See that DP with no deluge. That's how I would say. That poor bird has been stuck oh back here for months. Oh my god, I was just months. singing. I was like, look at the fish. For months. No, it's... No. Uh, yeah, for months. It's so cute. Yeah. Well. It's probably like Snow White put, stick my finger out and it lands on it. Look at it. Oh, it's in the tournament now. So cute. That bird hates it here. <laughs> <laughs> he just can't find a way out. <laughs> Someone open the door. <laughs> Nah, Gene's about to go bullet bill on these hoes. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to blue shell them. Yep. Hand 101, by the way. Uh, Bruce, Money. pot that. I called pot it. Pot that bitch. Pot that bitch, Bruce. Bruce, pot that bitch. 
<laughs> Please don't just call. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? He's just calling. Yeah, I know. I just said that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Terry's like, pot? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, Mike flops the wrap and the over pair and checks it. What are they doing? Stop the voice. I can't even see the turn, but I'm guessing he just hit the nuts. No, he didn't, but he's going to bet it. I like it. Yeah, take it down now. Uh. Yeah, I'm good with that. Wait. <laughs> Terry says, pa? <laughs> Bruce goes, chop? Uh oh, looks like they're talking about a chop. What are you proposing, Gene said? I mean, I'm not I was, however you guys like chopping is fine by me. If you if want to do an even chop, chop, I'm good. If you, what? If we're gonna do what just What's just an even chop here? What's our total prize pool? Okay. You yeah, want an even chop? Yeah. 2660. 2660 each player. Wow, they just agreed to a chop just like that. They all just got tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the blinds are so high. I mean, there's, it's not even about skill at this point. It's just about, wow, each player is going to get 665 even go, chop. Guys, they're, not even gonna, they're not even going to ICM it. That is actually hilarious. <laughs> you see it there. I mean. I mean, it just, just like that. It's just. It's just over. Well, I mean, well, congratulations to OG Gene. I mean, they're all getting – so second Bruce, place was 800, Mike, so they're Tim. all just going to take the 665 and run. Listen, they're that happy is, with it. They're like, I made some money. Let's go. Did you see how fast Tim, Tim pushed his chips in there when they asked if Oh, if look, he walked away. Yeah, he's like <laughs> – Straight he, up, he's like, bye. He's like, you cannot change your mind. Yeah, Verbal no. is binding. Verbal is binding. <laughs> GG, y'all. Thank you so much, Medic, for hanging out with us. You guys have been great in the chat. If you aren't already, please like and follow, subscribe here with us on Twitch and YouTube. We will be back here tomorrow streaming. Appreciate you guys. That was, that was a fun time. I love it doing the PLO time. tournaments. Yeah, me too. I love it. It's we been... appreciate you guys hanging with us in the chat. And, uh, you know, new chatters, old chatters. And, you know, can't wait to hang out with you again. Yep. Until then, we'll see you tomorrow. And I'll be on here Saturday. Until then, have a good night and be safe, everybody. Later. Bye.